Right, check, man. Y'all get in the box, man. We having technical difficulties tonight, but I think we got it straight now, man. Yeah, we should be back, champ. We should be back right now, champ, man. Guard your browser and buy by the glue line. You should be back right now, champ, man. Yes, Lord. Da -da. Y'all know I ain't gonna give up on y'all, man. We gonna keep going right now. We had to get this shit straight, man. We got technical difficulties like a motherfucker right now, man. But we gonna get it straight, dog. We ain't going nowhere. We bringing in the news, man. This shit going down, man. And so far, so good. Yes, Lord. So far, so good, man. Y'all tell me what's up right now. And I'm going to be monitoring this shit, too, man. Yes, Lord. I think we in good business right now, man. We running right now. Yes, Lord. Yeah, we in good condition right now, man. Oh, and then again, y'all step back in the box, man. We have some technical difficulties, but we got this shit screwed now, man. Yes, Lord. Champ, what's up? We at champ. We back, man. Get in the box, man. We ain't about to go pull out with this shit much longer, man. We about to run this shit right now, man. Keep, what's up, man? I see you on that live, Chief. Keep, yeah, we back up and live, man. Yes, Lord, we back, man. Let's get this news and let's get it out right now. There ain't nothing but the devil, man. There ain't nothing but the devil. They can't stop us, man. The devil can't stop us, man. We about to get in this shit right now, man. And we about to tell y'all what the hell going on right now. And this young dog kiss, man, Lord, the devil working the night. It's raining outside and the devil working the night, man. He trying to turn my internet off, man, and all kinds of crazy shit, man. This shit ain't going down like this right here, though. Y'all get them likes up in the box, man. And as soon as this song finishes, man, we gonna get right into this shit, man. We all at man. We all at man. We all at man. Y'all get in the box right now, man. Hit them like button, man. Hit that like button, man. Y'all rock out on this fly right now, man. All right, we about to get into this shit right now, man. All right, y'all, let's get into the content right now. 
Man, we've been having a little technical difficulties, but look like we doing okay right now. I don't see no red on the screen, man, so we back in business right now. The motherfucking devil busy, but he can't stop us, all right? The devil is not going to stop us right now, all right? So let's just get this shit on right now, all right? This guy right here yesterday, Cheese Dollar from Memphis, all right? Cheese Dollar from Memphis was the guy that got murdered in the front of the McDonald's. He got a brother named Jay Gotti. And his mother, Anita, is also dead. So the mother's dead, and all both of the sons is dead. Now, anybody in Memphis right now want to confirm that in the box? Jump in the box right now and let us know what's happening, all right? Let us know what's happening right now. But uh, this is a report, man. I'm going to read a report to y'all real quick, and I want y'all to see this report, all right? This is the report from... Jasper Strickland, which is this guy right here, man. J Dollar, man. It's this guy right here. His name is J Dollar. And this is the report right here from an arrest made on him in April. And we think that this arrest might have something to do with his death. Now, we ain't going to call this and say, you know, to put it out there like that. But y'all got to check out and see what's going on here, man. And I want y'all to really see what's going on here because... We got this big dude right here. We got a big shooter. He dead, all right? And, you know, we got Nooski too. Now, Nooski dead, all right? So we got two of these guys that fit in the description of these people. And anybody can tell me where this fat shooter come from because I damn sure want to know where this fat shooter came from, all right? I want to know where this fat shooter came from, all right? So this, what, uh, this is what we're going to do right now, all right? Pressing before me. I'm not going to call that man in. I don't even like them. But on 4-15, 2022, at 13, 24 hours, Officer G. Bullock, all right, and Buttleman were on routine patrol in the area of Rock Creek and Highway 64. Officers observed a black Nissan Altima bearing fraudulent Tennessee temporary tags. Man, these guys like to put on these bad tags on these cars. Traveling northbound on Rock Creek, officers observed a Nissan to have a dark tent, all right? Darker than allowed by Tennessee state law. How would they know that? By just looking at it, I guess. So they just pull them over because it looked like it was darker than the state law. Officers conducted a traffic stop with blue lights and a siren as the vehicle pulled onto the lot of 8971 U.S. Highway 64. Officers made contact with the driver, defendant Jasper Strickland, and his toddler's son, other Landon Strickland who was sitting in the front passenger seat, all right? Officers immediately observed a strong odor of unburned marijuana coming from the vehicle. How you know it's unburned? Just say fucking weed, all right? The defendant provided a Tennessee ID card which showed through the NCIC his driver's license to be suspended, all right, for failure to pay on a violation. The defendant was taken into custody. Officers conducted a search of the vehicle to investigate the odor of marijuana, all right? The odor of marijuana. Officer Bullock located a backpack on the front passenger floorboard that contained multiple large bags of green leafy substance consistent with marijuana. A black composite notebook used as a drug ledger. Okay, and I'm going to stop right there. All right, this guy had a black composite notebook used as a drug ledger. Complete with depths old and quantities of drugs was located in the center console. All right. Officers Curry and Franklin Thompson, you know, arrived to visit. Officer Thompson recovered. Uh, hmm. They recovered the money, $265, from the defendant's pants pocket. Officers seized the defendant's money. It's very small. Uh, don't, what? Denominations are consistent with the proceeds from the sale of illegal narcotics. The defendant's vehicle was towed to the lot with a hold up for OCU, as it is believed to be conveyed conveyance for the sale of illegal narcotics. All right, so they took the car. Officers used MPD, issued a tent meter on the front side window, which showed a 10% light transmittance. The defendant advised the vehicle is paid for, belongs to him, and he has a title at home, all right? The defendant 
and advised he had a title at home, all right? Lieutenant Lee made the scene, advised Officer Curry tagged the ledger, money fraudulent temp tag, and the suspected marijuana 201 property evidence, the green leafy substance, tested positive for THC and showed to weigh a combined 3.5 pounds. Damn. Other, the Landon Strickland was released to the custody of his grandmother, Pamela Turner. These events occurred at Shelby County, Tennessee. So this guy got pulled over, had three pounds of marijuana in the car with his son. All right. He had three pounds of marijuana in the car with his son. And this arrest came in April 15, 2022. So this guy right here, Cheese Dollar, was arrested April 15, 2022 with a, uh, with a backpack with three pounds of marijuana in it and a drug ledger. All right. He had a drug ledger on him with names of individuals who were selling drugs for him in a composite notebook pad. Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ. Y'all step in right now. What kind of drug dealers are these men that ride around with motherfuckers name inside a composite notebook? Taking notes on these motherfuckers, man. What the hell is going on? Y'all get in the comment box right now and tell me what's going on with this shit. How in the hell can you drive around in a car? Now you done got all these dudes named that's selling marijuana for you and drugs and cocaine and crack or whatever they're selling for you, man. And you got all their names in a composite notebook, right? You riding around with this with three pounds of weed in the car. Now, you get locked up. The police got your composite notebook. Everybody name in the fucking composite notebook who you selling drugs to, man. You about to get everybody indicted, man. You about to get everybody locked the fuck up and indicted because you want to ride around collecting goddamn people names and shit in a composite notebook pad. Y'all, I'm not lying on this guy, man. This guy had a composite notebook pad. Now, y'all know what that means, right? So let's get into this topic. He ends up dead, all right? He just got locked up April last month. The police pull him over. They found the ledger with money, fraudulent. They found the ledger on the front seat. And it says it was a notebook, a composite notebook used as a drug ledger, complete with debts owed, and quantities of drugs was located on the center console. So everybody that owed him drugs or sell drugs for him, the police got it. The police got this shit right here. This motherfucker riding around like he a goddamn fucking, I don't know what, a damn fucking collector, a bill collector, all right? So he riding around with this shit right here. Everybody going down. Y'all wonder why he dead, all right? This ain't no coincidence why this man here dead, man. This man here is probably dead right now because them boys know they done got his ass and got that notepad from him. He done started a whole goddamn indictment. He probably got, he probably put in the damn ledger who he bought the damn dope from. I mean, hey, shit, he had 3.5 pounds on him. I mean, he had three big bags on him, three bags on him. And a ledger with everybody naming that shit, man. He riding dirty to the motherfucker. And then he got a son in the car with him. And then he, it, it, oh, man. Y'all, man, this shit here is crazy. I ain't never seen no shit like this, y'all. You know, the, the, these guys, they really, 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 man. You got to think about this right here, what these guys doing, man. You got to think about this. And then they end up dead and people wonder why they dead. If I was serving him drugs right and i found out that he had a composite notepad that he was knocked off with with everybody name in the notepad and who owed him and how much money they owed him and how much drugs he gave him he had to go he had to go y'all he had to go all right he bad for business yes lord he had to go he had to go 
Now, I won't be surprised if they ain't back door this boy because of the, uh, the situation what happened with this bullshit here. He already had two pistol charges. This boy had two pistol charges out on two, two gun charges. Then he had this drug charge trafficking with three pounds of marijuana. And he had everybody in name in Memphis who had owed him some money for some damn weed and some drugs, all right? He had that damn notepad, and he just been riding around collecting shit all day long. Hey, man, put his name in the book. I mean, he riding around, got the baby in the front seat. He riding around, dropping off the weed, and writing them boy name down, and they fucking, uh, 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 how much they owe him and everything. I mean, they, he, 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 he keeping tabs on everything we're going on. With his drugs. Yeah, he ain't want a goddamn gram to get away from him. All right? And this is what you call the world's stupidest damn drug dealer. He get the donkey of the day. Somebody get us nigga the donkey day. Lord have mercy. This nigga ain't get the super duper donkey of the day. All right? Man, he fucked up. And he fucked up right now. And I won't be surprised if them boys ain't knock his ass off because he got caught with that fucking pad with all them people naming him. And Memphis got everybody named who been serving the motherfucking. I bet you they kick in every goddamn door that been in that uh, composite pad notebook. Yep. I bet you they kick in every damn door. And that shit got back to them niggas that this motherfucking stupid ass boy here got caught with all their names in the pad. And all of them goddamn went to jail fucking with him. All right. This is what some bullshit. You tell he's a woman that one girl. Listen, baby girl, he already gone. They done kill him. They, they killed Cheese Dollar going to McDonald's to get a cheeseburger. All right? They wait. They know his big ass been going to be hungry soon or later. All right? So they posted up at McDonald's, and they waited there sipping on a milkshake for him to pull up, and they popped his ass. All right? They popped him. Now, I'm sorry. You know, I ain't supposed to talk about nobody like that. And, you know, God bless his soul and his family and everybody like that, but this is a stupid-ass dude right here. He was a stupid ass drug dealer, all right? And it probably cost him his damn life because he was, you know, out there doing some dumb shit, all right? This some dumb shit. Kids out there, if you go sell drugs, please don't sell drugs. But if you go sell drugs, please don't ride around with a fucking pad telling everybody how much fucking drugs you done give them and writing people real name down in the pad. He got in the fucking pad. Oh, yeah, dog, John Boy owe me for 1.5 pounds of marijuana. He owe me 1,900. And, and this one here owe me fucking uh, 5,000 for 10 pounds and all kind of crazy shit. What the hell going on, man? These niggas here, man. Lord, somebody tell this new generation how to sell drugs. I don't understand this shit here, man. I do not understand this shit right here. Lord, have mercy. Man, can we call him to the principal office? Y'all, can we get in the comment box? Can we call him to the principal office, all right? Man, oh man, dollar cheeseburger, cheeseburger, dollar, wherever the hell your damn is. You wake up and bring your ass to the principal office. Because I can't believe you. Ain't no way in holy hell that you riding around collecting people names who you giving drugs to. I mean, what the shit kind of shit is that? All right? This is some crazy shit right here. All right? This, these, man, oh man. Lord, come down on Memphis. Calm down on Memphis right now. I ain't never seen no shit like this. This motherfucker here is a drug dealer secretary. All right, he's a secretary. Motherfucker, you get a pop in this nigga, your name going in the book. Yes, Lord, and you going down on indictment if they ever get their hand on that damn book. Y'all, let me see some cheeseburgers in that comment box right now. Yes, Lord, keep. That's a double cheeseburger. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Man, oh, man, this is crazy. Man, I tell y'all, where else dumbest criminals? Right here at a theater near you. Yes, Lord. Sleeping Peace Cheeseburger, Dollar Burger, wherever your name is. God damn, that's bullshit right there. All right, y'all. Oh, Lord. Man, I got a headache, and let's get this bullshit here over with because, uh, Dollar cheese done make me. I, I just ain't never seen a criminal like this, man. I, I never seen it, and I question it. All right. Y'all look at this big rat. This motherfucker here look like Mickey Mouse at finest, okay? All right. We about to get into everybody's situation right now. Oh, Nan is here to tell y'all. I'm breaking y'all the news right now on this young dog kids. 
Y'all excuse me because I'm still sick. But I'm trying to make it with y'all. All right? Let me break the news for y'all right now. Y'all see this boy here, Jojo Splat? Y'all see this boy here with this goddamn uh, Johnny Wang grill in his mouth? Because there ain't no dang. That's a Johnny Wang grill, okay? He got a Wang grill. All right. This dude, Jojo Splat, and we going to call him Jojo the Rat, all right? Jojo Rat, all right? Jojo Rat is the one who got caught with the switch. All right, let me tell y'all how stupid this dude is. All right, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a little rundown, then I'm gonna tell y'all what's going on. Jojo the Rat, all right? Jojo the Rat was the one that went into the damn gas station and had the police gun on him. All right, he had a nine millimeter with a switch that was stolen out of the Apple and Farms police station, all right? Y'all y'all riding with me? Y'all riding with me. All right. He got caught with the switch coming out of the store. So what happened to him was he decided when he went out the store, he saw the cops bothering the car that he had got out of. All right. The charger, the, the, the Hellcat or whatever. So instead of him, when he came out the store, Instead of him going the opposite direction, he ran toward the car. The police been chasing, all right? He ran toward the car trying to hurry up and get in that car because he knew if they'd been in that Hellcat, they could have probably get away. But he ran to the car, all right? When he was running to the car, you know what I'm saying? They caught him. But the dudes who were driving the car jumped out of the car, all right? They jumped out of the car, left drugs, all kind of shit in the car. So you know what the Memphis Police Department did? They catch Jojo ass, lock his ass up, and put every fucking piece of dope that been in that car on his ass. All right? His homeboys get away, leave all the shit in the car, and this dummy here chased the goddamn car that been running from the police. I ain't never seen no shit like that. That's the second world dumbest ass criminal. All right? This little dumb, God damn it, Man, oh, man, these little niggas here ain't making our second grade. All right? They ain't making our second grade. This world's dumbest criminal. This nigga chased a car that was being chased by the police and he had a police gun in his pocket when he'd been chasing the car down, all right? Yes, Lord. And I'll get to the paperwork for this in a minute, all right? I'm going to show y'all exactly what this damn fool here did. He's a damn fool. He's a damn fool and another fool again. He went to jail, got out, gave up his rights, went down there on Flicker Street. He started talking, 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 snitches, snitches, telling every fucking thing he know, telling everything he know. All right, they caught him again. All right, they caught this motherfucker with CEO Bobby. Both of them in a goddamn infinity in a high speed chase. All right, they in the infinity. CEO Bobby still locked up for y'all. All y'all out there want to know CEO Bobby is still locked up right now. So when they lock CEO Bobby up, CEO Bobby sitting on a five hundred thousand dollar bond, and I'm gonna bring something to y'all too about CEO Bobby because they just stick him in a conspiracy, y'all. So I'm gonna bring that to y'all right now because y'all know on that TV don't bullshit. But they just stick CEO Bobby ass in a conspiracy. All right. So this dude, Jojo Splat, Cavicius, whatever the fuck his name is. All right. Mr. Cavicius went to jail, got caught with police guns again with CEO Bobby in the high speed chase in the infinity. They ain't got no lights riding that late at night. Police chase their ass down to Memphis. God damn. This choo-choo train. No. Choo-choo train son is CEO Bobby. His name G Train, but I call him Choo Choo Train. All right, but this boy right here, Jojo Splat, right? This dude right here, man, and and I'ma tell you, this boy here is bad news bears. All right, he bad news bears. This guy right here, man, got caught with two guns out the police station. All right, well, Apple and Farms. Yes, Lord, I got the black and white. I done showed it to you. Go back to the videos, y'all can see it. Go back to the CEO Bobby videos that's in my archives and y'all will see it. All right. Now, the day he got caught with CEO Bobby, he had more guns out of the police station. But those came from a separate police station. They had another police station. I can't even remember the name of it, but when I pull the paperwork up, I'll show y'all. But he got caught. He went to jail, y'all. The boy had 30-something charges. He had 20-something uh, slew of charges, all right? He home right now selling drugs on the internet. Yes, sir. 
You can go on the internet right now and buy a goddamn .5 from him, or uh, fucking gram, or maybe two grams, or whatever. He got his feet kicked back talking about he ain't signing no, he ain't down with no Rule 35, and all. He's talking federal talk. This nigga on the internet talking federal talk, right? And I'm like, what the fuck? Why well, I'm scratching my head? Like, what the fuck is this boy talking about? Fed, federal shit and all kind of crazy shit. Then we got a lawyer up here talking about he waiting on the government. So, nah, I done put two or two together, y'all. Yes, Lord. Oh, man, I put two or two together. All right. Oh, Mr. Jojo Rat right here. He is one of these snitches that they're going to use in the Young Dolph case. All right. He is one of these snitches that they're going to use in the Young Dolph case. Allegedly, all right. And I'm going to say allegedly, but I'm telling you right now. He is out. He is out. This boy is out after having 25 charges from gun charges to switches to stolen cars to stealing and everything. He is out of jail. All right. He's home relaxing, chilling on Facebook. All right. He's, he's cool right now. He's laying down. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, this, this, this is crazy that he's home. All right. So Jojo Splat's home. All right. Now. We're going to move him over to the side. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and exit him out the building right real quick. But I'm going to bring him back. Don't worry. I'm going to bring him back. Now, let me go ahead to the news of the day right here. All right. Let me go ahead to the news of the day right here. Do y'all know who these three guys are? Oh, Lord. I'm about to, boy, I'm about to blow y'all head off the meat rack right now. All right. Y'all head is about to fly off the meter. Boop, boop, boop. I'm going to put these two right here together. All right? We're going to put these two together because I want y'all to see exactly what's going on because old man ain't no damn fool. All right? Y'all see these right here? Get in there. All right? I want y'all to see this. And don't forget this. These are the three guys. Everybody paying attention. These are the three guys that shot the young Dolph vigil up the next day. They shot a guy in the parking lot in the back of the car. All right, these are the shooters. To the left is Mr. Terrence Jones. This is a guy from Memphis. Y'all know him as CEO Stacks. Yes, Lord. So we got CEO Bobby and we got CEO Stacks. All right, CEO Stacks. Went into a house on a home invasion. Allegedly went in there, killed somebody, shot up some people in that house, and walked free. All right? Them people ain't kind of preliminary here, and he walked free. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on down there, but Mr. Terrence Jones, this little boy here is the devil. All right? He's the devil. And these two right here, Tavis and uh, uh, Travis and... Um, uh, this other one, I don't know the fuck. Y'all look his name up, all right? But I don't care nothing but them because th these two still in jail. These two is still in jail. They ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. These motherfuckers, they stuck like Chuck, okay? They stuck, they stuck, stuck, stuck. These two stuck. But, oh, Lord, oh, Nan TV is here to tell y'all right now. Let me zoom this shit in. Uh, zoom, zoom, zoom. All I want to do is zoom, 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 zoom. Yes, sir. I ain't going to see the rest because I, I think that song fucked up. All right. But anyway, this guy right here, Lord Jesus Christ, man, this nigga here, Travis Jones. All right. Travis Jones. And I'm going to just put it like this. I'm going to be real. And I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just going to cut to the fucking cheese. Y'all, I went into the computer. All right. I have his paperwork. From doing past videos on him. Alright. Past videos. On him. Travis. I mean Terrence Jones. T-E-R-R-A-N-C-E. -E. Anybody out there that got access. Right now to the courts. So y'all can prove. I raised my right hand. To God. Like, hey, like I've been on the stand. Anybody out there got access to Shelby County right now. Terrence. T-E-R-R-A-N-C-E. -E, Jones. Alright. That's his name. All right, now I'm going I'm to move something over to the side right here on the side of Terrence Jones. Okay, now, Lord Jesus Christ, now we're about to get to the business. Y'all look here. 
man. Look at y'all. Oh, Jesus, man. This don't make no sense. Terrace Jones. Devin Burns. All right. Ooh, I know Memphis shitting in their drawers right now. Yes, Lord. The FBI. Oh, I know y'all mad, man. But, man, fuck this. I got to do this because I got to tell my people what's going on, man. And y'all need to step on the fucking gas. That's what y'all need to do. If y'all want me to stop blowing y'all fucking keys, step on the gas. All right. So we're going to put the pressure on your ass. All right. We gonna put the pressure on you. Y'all look at these two. Terrence Jones and Devin Burns. If anybody could go in the computer and find out where these two Negroes people work at right now, or then I sign out and never come back and I give you $5,000 cash, all right? Who all right now can tell me, y'all, they took this boy whole life out the computer right here. Terrence Jones, they took his whole life out the computer. And they did this to Devin Burns. So that's two people that done disappeared out of the system, y'all. Two people that totally disappeared. Y'all tell me what's going on here. Somebody tell me what's going on here. Devin Burns has been taken out of the Shelby County judicial system and Terrence Jones has been wiped clean out of the system, okay? And here we have it, this guy. We gonna put him right here. Little, little, little well no, we gonna blow him up, all right? So there we have it. Hold up, y'all. Let me let me get this screen here, man. Cause I, I, I just don't know what's going on here. Now, there we have it, y'all. We got Sean Del Barnett. Ghost. Gone. We let him go. We ain't know where he at. We ain't looking for him. Totally. Hey, don't even ask us about him. All right? Memphis tell y'all, shut the fuck up. Go lay down. Don't even ask us about no goddamn Sean Dale. We don't know where the hell Sean Dale at. Okay? We don't give a shit about no Sean Dale. They about to give Cornelius a bond, and they about to give Street Drop a bond, but they ain't even locked the third suspect up for accessory before and after the fact right now. They ain't even looking for him, right? They say they accidentally let him go. On that TV call a bluff. I'm the one that asked the whole world, where's Sean Dale Barnett at? Justin Pierre came right behind me and, and called up into that jailhouse and say they accidentally let him go by mistake. Everybody out there know this to be the truth. If On that is lying right now, then I'm flying, all right? But I'm telling y'all, I'm the one that blow the whistle on uh, Sean Dale Barnett. All right. Now, Devin Burns is no longer to be found. He is gone with the win. Now, let me tell you, he over there messing with that damn lady, that damn G Money Mama, okay? That Sugar Creek, Sugar Loaf address is who he tied to. He tied to Miss Kamisha, okay? Kamisha, I forget about you. Talking about, oh, man, TV don't know nothing. Bullshit. Kamisha, bring your ass to the principal office too. You, Kamisha, your ass ain't getting loose, all right? You're not getting loose. I'm still coming after you. Don't think because your ass ain't on Facebook no more and you're quiet and I ain't coming to fuck with you, all right? That's bullshit. Now, let me tell y'all what's going on. Man, you got Terrence on the right, my left, right, whatever the fuck, all right? You got Terrence Jones that took a murderer, an alleged murderer, an alleged murderer, shooter, man, oh man, let me tell y'all the shit this nigga been in, all right? So, let's pop this tag right here, all right? Let's pop this tag, because y'all know we fuck with the black and white. We don't do a lot of deals, but fuck with the black and white. All right, I'm going to bring these goddamn three little Mickey Mouse right back up on the screen in a minute. I'm going to bring Disney World right back up on the screen, all right? On November 18, 2021, at 1516 hours, officers responded to a shooting at 2360 Airways Boulevard. Family Dollar. Victim Terry, I ain't going to call his name, was attending a vigil located at 2370 Airways Boulevard, Makita's Homemade Cookies. When a gray four-door Nissan Versa traveling northbound on Airways Boulevard occupied by three to four males fired one shot 
from the back seat of the vehicle, striking the victim in the upper right thigh. All right. After the suspect shot, the uh, after the suspect shot, uh, da -da -da -da. damn, I lost my speed. Lord Jesus Christ. All right. After the suspects, oh, they observed. Okay, striking the victim in the thigh. After the suspect shot the victim, the vehicle continued northbound on Airways Boulevard. Officers were on the scene of the vigil when the shooting occurred and, obser and observed the suspect fleeing the scene in a gray Nissan Versa. Officers pursued the vehicle to Kerr Avenue and Mississippi Boulevard where the suspects wrecked out and bailed from the vehicle on foot. All right, so they jumped out. Officers observed the fleeing defendants throwing handguns from the vehicle as they were exiting to flee on, flip, on foot. So they throwing guns and shit while they running from the police. They throwing guns all over the fucking police, all right? After a brief foot pursuit, defendant Terrence Jones, all right? Defendant Terrence Jones, who was in the rear seat. Defendant Jalen Navis, who was in the front seat. And defendant Tavis, uh, Tavis McQueen, the driver, were all taken into custody. Officers located two handguns, in the street, one handgun in a grassy field, and one handgun next to a garbage can near a resident on Havana Street. Upon checking the vehicle, the 2020 Nissan Versa, officers found that the vehicle was stolen out of the Apple and Falls Police Station. All right? It was stolen out the station. The vehicle had an AR pistol on the front passenger side floorboard and tan handgun on the back seat. Three of the handguns were equipped with an auto switch. A small mechanism installed on the rear of the slide, which alters the firearm to be fired at a fully automatic rate to fire by a single function of the trigger. A Glock 17 9mm handgun showed to be stolen out of Shelby County. All right. Officers on the scene of 2360 Airways Boulevard were advised, you know what I'm saying, were advised by witnesses that he was standing by the victim to observe a green car driving by. And then he heard shots fired, striking the victim. The witness advised he was standing next to the victim when he heard the shots fired. The victim advised he saw a gray vehicle driving away from the scene being followed by the police. The victim was transported by a private vehicle to Methodist University non-critical. Defendants Jones and Nelvis were transported to Airways GBI for further investigation. Defendant McQueen was transported in one medical center in non-critical condition. The defendant were arrested and transported, blah, blah, blah. On Friday, November 26th, a search warrant was, execute, was executed by a crime scene on the green 2020 Nissan. Okay, and uh, what was recovered from the vehicle was a tech, American tactical Omni hybrid uh, with, live, with five live rounds, a Glock 45, a 21 gin, and 14 rounds. Man, these, man had, these people had 19 guns on them, man. 53 oxycodone pills, 8.4 of marijuana. Marijuana tested positive for THC in the evidence room. The pills were identified, and the vehicle was released back to the whoever, to the owner. After they tell the fucking pool of the vehicle was stolen out of the police station. These motherfuckers done jack up the police report, done jack up everything in this shit, all right? So, let me tell y'all what's going on here, all right? This Terrence Jones guy, this Terrence Jones guy, Y'all, this is the boy who been in the car with the 19 goddamn guns or nine guns or whatever you want to call it. Why he the only motherfucker out of jail and the rest of his two core defendants still in fucking jail right here. Let's go ahead and blow this shit up for y'all so y'all can see. The rest of these two dummies still in jail while this motherfucker here free after getting caught with all them goddamn guns and he been the one sitting in the back seat shooting the fucking gun. He done shot a motherfucker. These two stuck. And his ass gone, and ain't nothing to be found on his ass in the computer right now. Not a damn thing. Y'all hit the like button, man. Y'all, this some bullshit. Hit the like button right now. Y'all look at it. This some bullshit, y'all. Y'all see this shit right here? Y'all see this? This boy right here, Terrence goddamn Jones. All right? This boy right here, man, oh, man, this boy's a foreman. All right? You ain't got to tell me twice, motherfucker. I know what's going on. He's an informant. He's a goddamn informant. All right? Ain't no doubt about it. 19 guns. Okay? Nine guns. Wherever the fuck. Y'all see how much guns been in that car? They throw four. They throw four guns in the bushes, y'all. They throw four guns in the bushes. 
before the police even pull him over. All right, they throw four out the window. When the police going back to search the car on the 26th, I don't know what take them so long to go back to search the car. You catch these motherfuckers on the, on the, on the 18th, 1920, eight days later, they going back to the car and search the car on Friday, November 26th. A search warrant was executed by a crime scene on the great 2020. And they recovered from the vehicle an American tactical Omni hybrid gun with five live rounds, one Glock 45, a 20, a Glock, a 21 generation, 21 generation, a XED 366 with 14 live rounds, 53 pills. Man, God damn, he's got army on them, man. They had a goddamn army on them. You hear what I say? An army. These dudes had an arsenal of shit on them, man. An arsenal of shit. We ain't talk about no little bit of shit. Man, these niggas had the goddamn whole. These three niggas right here had more guns than they could possibly ever goddamn shoot. All right? They had more guns than they could possibly ever shoot. All right? An arsenal. And he out. This boy, he out. Gone with the wind. The rest of these two here stuck on goddamn million dollar bonds and shit. One got a half a million and the other one got a half a million and they ain't going no goddamn way. Them people know they ain't got no damn half a million dollars. I know the fuck this one, they get a half a million dollars from, but he not only got out of jail, he is David Copperfield, okay? They took everything out the computer for him, all right? So let's talk about this. In order to get the answers for this young dog case, y'all, we got to rewind this shit right here all the way to the beginning. Remember I tell y'all that shit start at the cookie shop? That shit start at the cookie shop and that shit going to end at the cookie shop, y'all. This shit going to end at the cookie shop. Let me tell y'all something. These three guys ain't no fucking way that they went and shot up out there with them goddamn police out there sitting in that parking lot and they knew the cops were there. Name me a criminal that going to shoot in a parking lot, right? The cops sitting in the parking lot. They know the cops is there. And they go shoot into that parking lot. All right? These, these three motherfuckers know something we don't know. Yes, Lord. They got to know something we don't know. Because there ain't no goddamn way. Holy hell. You going to shit me to shoot in the direction of a fucking police. And they come out there with one count of assault and battery with a tip to kill. You know how much people been in that fucking parking lot? You mean to tell me all they get from one count? Let's pull this shit back up, man. Them people ain't get from one count and they got them shoot in the parking lot? With all these people out there, man, they supposed to have a hundred thousand goddamn counts. They supposed to have a counterattempted murder for everybody standing in that goddamn parking lot. That bullet could have gone through one person, hit another person, hit another person, and fucking kill all the ass. All right. So this is what's going on right here, and I just need, I need, I need some answers. I need some fucking answers right now because this ain't adding up. Ain't no damn way in holy hell that you go shooting into a parking lot with a goddamn. Police all around that motherfucker. I'm talking about police in the parking lot, police on the, down the street. I mean, they had a whole police barricade, and these three, these three jackasses decided to go shoot up a vigil. For what? For so Who sent them? Somebody sent these guys to do that shit, bro. Somebody sent them to do that, and I, I want to know their heights, okay? So here it goes. We got a fat dude right here. A fat dude right here at 5'8". All right, we got another dude, Terrence, at 5'8", and we got another dude over here at 5'8". All right, I want y'all to pay attention. Pay the fuck attention right now, all right? We got fat boy right here, 5'8", and we got Terrence, 5'8". Terrence a known fucking killer, all right? See your stacks? Yes, Lord. Now. Nah. They got caught with them goddamn guns. All right? They got caught with all them guns. And this boy right here, this Terrence Jones boy here, look like a little badass child with a bunch of silver teeth in his mouth. You know how them little children that suck bottle to they motherfucking five and they got all them little silver ass teeth in his mouth? Yeah, he look like one of them little badass little bottle suckers till he been six years old. With all them fucking silver teeth in his mouth. And all them goddamn... Yeah, y'all know what the fuck of the Medicaid um, gold teeth, wherever the fuck that is. 
But this motherfucker right here, man, he the police. They done put this nigga out. They put him up. They done put his ass out. All right? Why you leave the other two in jail, Terrence? Why you leave your homeboys? You're supposed to go in and get your homeboy too. Shit, you done tell. You might as well get them free. You know what I'm saying? You might as well get them free. Fuck, you done sell your goddamn soul. Anybody go to Shelby County, take that shit out there right now. Go ahead, y'all big badass. Take it out the computer right now. Somebody, take it out the computer. Let me see y'all. Let me see y'all go find him in the computer right now. Can any one of y'all do it? Hell no. You can't do it. All right. Now let's get to this motherfucker here, man. They got a rumor about this boy here dressing like a drag queen. All right. They say that this guy right here, Mr. Shondell Barnett. They say he like to run around dressing like a drag queen and shit. That why they can't find him. All right. Now, I believe Screech Drop was driving the car when they caught him. Why was Screech Drop driving the car when they caught them? And he the motherfucker supposed to be on the passenger seat hunched down. Why was Screech Drop driving this motherfucker like he had something to do with this? All right. Now, you mean to tell me that they just let this man go, right? Mistakenly. Y'all, y'all buying that shit? Let me see the thumbs up in the box right now. Thumbs up if y'all think they let him go mistakenly. Thumbs up if you think he, if you think they let him go mistakenly. Let me see right now. Hurry up, hit the damn button real quick. All right. This guy was in the jail, and they said they accidentally let him go, all right? Y'all believe this shit? Do y'all believe this shit right now, all right? And they say, we ain't even looking for him. We don't want him. We don't want him. We don't give a damn what he got going on. We don't want him, all right? This was not a mistake. This is not a mistake. I don't know what the hell Screech Drop told this boy in that car, but whatever the hell Screech Drop told this boy inside of that car, them feds got his ass. I'm willing to bet they got him. I'm willing to bet they got him right now. They got Terrence Jones and they got Devin Burns. All three of them fuckers right there is ghosts. They done take all they shit out the computer, all their family members, everything. They done erased the world of these motherfuckers right here. And anybody want to call me a liar, just go ahead and look it up. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all know we good at that shit. But this guy right here, Sean Dale Barnett, this was not an accident, y'all. And I'm here to tell y'all, this was not an accident, y'all. There's some real life sneaky ass shit going on by the Memphis Police Department. They are hiding these guys. These guys just, they, 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 you know, they, they don't even talk about them because they want y'all to just focus on Screech Dropper Cornelius. That's what they want you to focus on. They want you to focus on Screech Dropper Cornelius. They don't want you focusing on nothing else. So the public can only get what Justin P. A. give y'all. So if Memphis ain't talking about nothing, Memphis ain't talking about nothing, okay? Every little now and then they come up and bring Dolph name up in some fucking memorial or whatever, but... They're not talking to the, to the public about none of these guys, all right? They, if you go to Memphis, they hush-hush. They ain't saying shit about Shondell Barnett, why they ain't looking for him. Listen, Cornelius had a ball another day, and they brought up Devin Burns and, and Joshua Taylor name. They ain't say shit about Shondell. How many of y'all caught that? Just like I caught them saying, the lawyer, Michael Scholl, saying that he waiting on the government to give him some more discovery. All right. So we already done bust the ass of one lie. Mr. Scholl done gave it away that the FBI is on this case now. All right. That's why they keep pushing them boy court date back because they trying to get ready for this indictment. They building their case and they ain't going to let straight drop of Justin Johnson out that jail until they done drop this indictment. So y'all better be ready for this shit. That's why they keep pushing it back. They're not going to let them out. Because they got to get the rest of the motherfuckers off the street who possibly possibly can kill a motherfucking ass, okay? So they're going to take them niggas off the street. They're going to take these two niggas and they're going to put them in protective custody. I don't even believe 
that straight drop going to federal prison. All right. I think he got it worked out in this deal that he going to do them two years on house arrest. All right. After all that fucking tailing he about to do uh, already done did. All right. Because I'm telling y'all right now that these two fucking lawyers, all of a sudden they body, 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 Michael Shaw and Mr. Ganguly. All right. Mr. Ganguly was up there talking shit about motherfucking Cornelius. Goddamn two weeks to, uh, last month. Talking shit to my, I, I'm just worried that, you know, when you have a case like this, you know, the, 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 uh, the witness, you know, co-defendant could talk on my client. He could talk on my client and that could do, you know, damage. And I'm just not sure how this is going to work. I'm just not sure. All right, America. Mr. Ganguly went from telling straight drop lawyer and the courts that he don't trust Cordelius and Michael Shores. He said it, y'all. He said, I don't trust the motherfucker. We got a problem. Because when you got court to finish, you got to worry about one telling on another one. You got to worry about somebody telling, and I don't know how this going to play out. I, I just don't know. Aladdin said he don't know how it's going to play out. All right? So let me scoop y'all. All right? On what's going on. So now, all of a sudden, y'all, all of a sudden, these two lawyers, they body body now. They want to get bond hearings on the same day. Why y'all think they keep scheduling both of their bond hearing on the same day? If I'm a co-defendant and straight drop my co-defendant, I'm not going to no fucking court with no straight drop. Man, straight drop, take your ass in front of the judge, man. I'm going in front. Of, I don't want this nigga near me. I'm trying to get the fuck out of jail. You're not going to court with me. Well, I mean, you got to go to court, man. You already got two years, man. Take your ass to fucking prison, all right? Take your ass to prison and let me get my ball and let me get the fuck out of here because you know I ain't got shit to do with this, all right? No, 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 no. That ain't what's going on now. No, sir. Them two niggas sticking together like glue now. Mr. Ganguly, he over there now looking like a fucking lost Arab, okay? He over there just a kissing Michael Scholl ass. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We going to schedule these guys, uh, 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 we gonna schedule these guys bond hearing together. When in the fuck do y'all ever see two court defendants go out for bond at the same time? Somebody fucking tell me. That shit never happened. If I got a court defendant, I want to fucking be away from him. Especially when we going to get a bond. Because if he get a bond, then that means I might can get a bond, but we ain't going on the same day. What the fuck we going on the same day for? So if he shoot your ass down, I know I ain't getting no bond. So whoever run up under that gun first, bang, bang, the rabbit nigga gonna shoot your ass down. And I'm going to turn around and say, hey, look here, man, I ain't going to go in front of that motherfucker. Hell no. The fuck I'm going to go in front of that for my court defendant that got his goddamn head blow off trying to get a bond. That don't make no sense, y'all. This is something y'all ain't see all this tricky ass shit going on with these people, man. They trick, they sit in these boys to go together. Y'all ain't never seen no shit like that. When the fuck you ever see two court defendants go to court together? Tell me. When you ever see him act for a bar again? Tell me when you do this. Y'all ain't never seen this shit. Why would Mr. Ganguly want his client to go to a barn hearing with somebody who he think is going to tell on his client? Uh, do the math. Why would Mr. Ganguly want his client to go to a barn hearing with a possible informant with him? Okay, why? Why would Aladdin want to take his goddamn genie bottle with the other fucking genie bottle? That's because all both of them genie done come out the fucking bottle. You're damn right. Both of the ass done come up the bottle. Yes, Lord. Them two motherfuckers right there. Yes, Lord. They sticking together now. They ain't even mad no more. Straight drop ain't even mad no more. Uh-uh. He ain't mad at Cornelius no more. Fuck no. Because they got every fucking thing they need. You're goddamn right. They got everything they need. Them some sorry motherfuckers, all right? Them lawyers and them motherfuckers there, they ain't shit. Y'all get the likes up. They ain't shit. Them people up to no good, man. Y'all, I'm breaking it down for y'all. Them people up to no good. And y'all know what? Mr. Uh, Michael Show, if you out there, I want to let you know from Ordinary TV that you the dumbest motherfucking lawyer on the face of the earth. Yes, sir. And I ain't going to say no allegedly. You the dumbest motherfucker on the face of the earth. Because you got up on national TV and said, you, you're waiting on the government for more discovery. When 
do the fucking government got anything to do with the state? The man snitched on the whole goddamn Memphis and the FBI and ain't even know he did it. That's how stupid his ass is. Now you think I want a motherfucker like this representing me and he get up there and I blow the fucking whistle to the whole goddamn world? This motherfucker is up oh, ah, um, well, we just waiting on more discovery from the government. I mean, the government. The fuck you mean the government, man? Not the first, you know, when I saw government, I'm going to fall off the goddamn chair. I said, oh, what the fuck? Oh, Lord, have mercy. This nigga that I tell us the feds on the keys. You know what I'm saying? This is what happened. Now, all of a sudden, these two, body, body, body. Cornelius and his lawyer. Straight dropping his lawyer. They got matching court dates. I mean matching court dates. Like motherfucking twins. Every born hearing them, some bitch them been to, they been to together. Okay? Together holding hands like they running down the fucking yellow brick road. Dumb nigga ain't shit. Alright? Ain't no way I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no way I'm going to fucking court with my co-defendant. I don't give a shit what my co-defendant say. Man, if you don't get your ass away from me, man, you the one, they talking about had that Bass Pro hat on. You take your ass over there, okay? I'm telling my motherfucker I done washed this car, and I don't know what the fuck going on, all right? This nigga pay me $20 to wash the car, my handprint on the back. Your Honor, please can I get the fuck out of here? Sir, I ain't got shit to do with this. I'm going to tell you right now, man, God, he kill him, nigga. I ain't know who the fuck I am. Look here, let me go. I ain't got shit to do with that. All I did was wash the goddamn car, all right? All I did was wash it. Y'all got to see what's going on here. These people full of shit. These people full of shit, man. And they don't tell y'all. We ain't even looking for this motherfucker right here. They say, Sean Dale Barnett, don't even worry about him. We ain't looking for him. The U.S. Marshals caught straight drop ass Within one week, looking for this motherfucker throughout the... They tracked Sean Dale and this motherfucker down in one week. And you mean to tell me, United States Marshal, y'all can't get out there and go find this punk dressing motherfucker right here in two days? Bullshit. All you got to do is take your ass down there by one of them little swinging ass bars down there in Memphis or all goddamn Dallas where them little motherfucking um, people be at, them rainbow people, and you'll find this motherfucker, all right? Go on down there and find the fucking, find the pot of gold at the end of the goddamn ring, boy. I ain't. This some bullshit. This some bullshit, y'all. Now, let's get to this shit right here. All right? I'm sick of these people lying to us. I'm sick of them. I'm sick of these people, man. Now, let's get to this goddamn super-duper ass snitch right here. You see this little motherfucker right here? Yes, Lord. Man, this, let me give you all an example of another world's dumbest motherfucking criminal. All right, let me give you another example of a world's dumbest criminal. All right, we're going to hold TZ punk ass here. I think TZ kind of sweet. You know, I, I just mean, I just think TZ kind of sweet, man. And I ain't going to lie y'all. I think TZ got a little sugar in his blood or something, man. Because let me tell y'all something. TZ done did some dumb ass shit, man. Let me show y'all what TZ did. All right. We're going to get on here. Oh, no, that's CEO Chino. All right. Y'all just relax for me. Let me pull up TZ paperwork for y'all. And let y'all see how dumb TZ is, all right? Devin Burns again. Yep, that paperwork did like gold. You'll never find that shit again. No, sir. You won't find a trace of that nigga there. That nigga there, the Batman and Joker like a motherfucker. That Pia Sims right there, okay, yep. Mm -hmm. She about to go to court too. I'm bring that to y'all. Her little rat now, she ain't getting nothing but a couple years too. Them motherfuckers ain't getting no time over there, all right? They ain't getting no time over there. All right, I'm gonna steal up all them people's shit and then go turn around. All right, now check this out. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let me give y'all another dumbass world's dumbest rat. The world's dumbest goddamn rat in the goddamn whole shebang, okay? This nigga here ain't shit, man. This nigga here need his ass kicked, all right? Let me tell y'all about this dumbass TZ, all right? TZ so fucking dumb. TZ need the world's dumbest, dumbest criminal of the year award. 
man of 2021 in May, man. Further, affiant makes oath that the essential facts are constituting, y'all. Check this out. On May 4th, 2021, officers were on the scene of an accident on Riverdale Road and Rockingham Drive, in which the driver of the vehicle, the co-defendant, Pemberney Ward. If y'all don't know who Pemberney Ward is, that's his biatch, his girl. All right. Pemberney Ward was placed under arrest for being in possession of a stolen vehicle. Chimberly riding around a stolen shit. Lord have mercy. Jesus Christ, they got the girls riding around a stolen car. Man, what the hell going on in Memphis? Man, buy your gal a car, man. Don't have your gal out here riding around no stolen ass BMW. Lord Jesus, man, these niggas here, man. These niggas are steal a goddamn armor all off your tire and sell them to the motherfucker next to you. All right? These niggas here some thieves. But anyway, man, Pemberney Ward was placed under arrest for being in possession of a stolen vehicle, y'all. 2016 BMW M6, which was stolen out of the state of Illinois. They done crossed the state line with the damn car. All right. While on the scene, officers were approached by Joshua Taylor. TZ come walking his motherfucking ass up there. They done got his gal in handcuff. And he come walking his ass up there like he fucking Batman about to save Robin, okay? He up there. Yeah, he done walk up there like he motherfucking He-Man about to save She-Man. All right? Them motherfucking dumbass nigga, man. World's dumbest criminal. The defendant, Joshua Taylor, who advised officers that he was the ex-boyfriend of the co-defendant ward. Now, this nigga said, oh, that's my ex-girlfriend right here. Yeah, I ain't even with this motherfucker no more. Man, fuck her ass. Lock her ass up. Man, I ain't even with her. This my ex. This my ex-girl right here, man. Fuck this shit. And that he had given her the vehicle to drive. Man, get the fuck out of here. You just say the girl your ex-girlfriend and you go and you tell the police... You give her the car? Man, hell no, man. Hell no. I ain't going to jail for my ex, bitch. You got me fucked up, nigga. Hell no. Their ass can go to jail by her motherfucking self. Especially she be my ex-girlfriend. I ain't got shit to do with her. She getting another dick. She getting more dick. And she ain't getting my dick. So she going to jail. Yes, sir. I'm going to lock her ass up. All right? She going to jail. All right, so she... <laughs> so tell me, right? This dumb motherfucker tell the police... <laughs> He giving her the vehicle to drive. At this time, the defendant Taylor was placed under arrest as well. <laughs> they locked the stupid motherfucker up. <laughs> he come up there, come up. boy Memphis is shit. <laughs> hey Memphis, say man, fuck that. I got two for one, two for one, motherfucker. You won't claim this motherfucker. Come on here, I'm gonna lock your ass, Timothy dumbass up, you stupid motherfucker. This nigga going up there like he about to save his bitch. Them boy lock his ass up too. Them boy said, put your hand behind your back. So you wanna tell us that your ex girlfriend. Nigga, he, hey, he tell the police, no, no, that ain't my ex. I just been lying. I just... <laughs> so they say, they, they play as Taylor under arrest as well, right? So both defendant Taylor and co defendant Ward. Were transported to 170 North Main felony response for further investigation. Lord Jesus Christ, this nigga here with the popular. This nigga went down there and got questioned. All right? This motherfucker here went and got questioned behind some ex pussy. All right? Some ex pussy. Not no noun pussy. Some ex pussy. All right? And he went down there and got his ass questioned for further investigation. Defendant Taylor was then charged. And transported the 201 and uh, whatever. The natal value of the vehicle showed 47000 Timberney ass going to jail. He going to jail. And that's the stupidest motherfucker in the world. Nigga, you already know if you walk up on these police, they're going to lock your ass up if you tell them this your car. So you just go ahead and let your girl get locked up, your ex-girl. And you go ahead and get your bond money ready. Go ahead and bond her out. You see what I'm saying? Bond her out. And, you know, that's good. Not... Now nah, nobody don't got to come get neither one of y'all ass. You understand? Nobody don't got to come get neither one of y'all. New subscription, Louis the 13th. Thank you. But uh, nobody don't got to come get none of y'all. This dumb ass nigga went up to the police and told the police, that's my ex-girlfriend and this my damn car. And the people say, oh yeah, put your hand behind your back right here with Timothy Ward. They set both of the ass in the police car and take him right down there and question the ass. All right. Don't hang around niggas like this here. Man, get rid of these motherfuckers right here. Lord, Jesus Christ. Good Lord, man. These them dumbass people right here, man.
I just ain't never see no shit like this. All right? And you want me to believe that they wanted this motherfucker for questioning for Young Dolph murder and he didn't say shit? Bullshit! Look at the proof right here. The motherfucker went down a felony response for further investigation. He waived his rights and went down that motherfucker to talk. Okay? TZ went to talk. And if he didn't want to talk, they would have said he, he didn't waive his rights and he wanted to go to 201 Popular. But instead, the motherfucker went down there to let them, to tell them people where he get that fucking car from, all right? That's what this little rat motherfucker did right here. Yes, Lord. This nigga is a super duper Mickey Mouse, okay? Yes, sir. He ain't no good. They need to burn him to the cross, all right? They need to burn him to the cross, man. That goddamn TZ. Look at this motherfucker, man. Look at him. Look at his eyes, man. Just look at him. This boy here look fool. Yes, Lord, he look fool as hell. Ain't no way you gonna... Run up on the damn police and tell the police, that's my car. That's my shit. Man, I'm sick of these niggas, man. I'm done with, I'm done with these niggas here. I'm done with them. Ain't nothing else to talk about. Dealing with these dudes right here, man. All right. And this is your fourth rat. This is your fourth government rat. So let's count them up, y'all. Let's count them up. We got Jojo Splat. All right, we got Devin Burns, all right, we got Terrence Jones, all right, we got Shondell Barnett, that's four, and we got Teezy, that's five fucking rats in the young dog kids right there, that's five known snitches. That's going to testify on whoever these people get. I'm not going to say who, but this is the link to Big Jook. And I heard that the feds picked Big Jook ass up a couple days ago. That's a rumor that I heard. And if the feds picked Big Jook ass up, and he talking about his homie done flip on him and all kind of shit, and now you got cheeseburger dad trying to get a cheeseburger, and then you got all this bullshit going on, Y'all, I'm here to tell y'all, this is the link to Big Jook. <laughs> they were looking for him, excuse me. They were looking for him, right? And y'all remember this? They said nothing about him being questioned for the young dog kids. When they caught him, he had beat that fucking girl up. That girl bust his ass. Y'all remember when that girl head bought him and almost fucking kill him? She head bought the shit out this nigga and damn near kill his ass, all right? Tim Bunny head bought him, beat his motherfucking ass, okay? She head bought him and fuck him up, but you never heard nothing else, nothing else about him being questioned for the young Dolph, about Devin Burns being charged, being questioned, and these were the last two. These were the last two. Memphis trying to run a fast one. Yeah, MPD trying to run a fast one. All right? This boy here out jail. Yes, Lord. This boy just get catch with gun, drugs, and get a PR bond. And he done had assault charges, everything. The motherfucker get a personal recognizance bond. I ain't never get a personal recognizance bond a day in my motherfucking life. And my motherfucking mom, I testify to that who watching right now. Lord, 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 I never get a fucking PR bond. I don't even know what a fucking personal recognizance bond is, okay? This nigga get a PR bond for a stolen gun, bullets. He hide dope in the churn room, hide dope under the bed. Had dope in the refrigerator, money on the top of the refrigerator, and this nigga is free, okay? This nigga is free. Free as a goddamn bird running around Memphis right now, or wherever the fuck he at. Atlanta, Memphis, I don't know. But this nigga here is not in jail, all right? So that's five, y'all. That's five federal witnesses that we know of. Oh, shit. I forget one. Oh, shit. Boy, what the fuck, Terry Arno is? Bring your ass to the principal office. That's six. Terry Arno Owens. That's six. That's that nigga who got caught 
trying to carjack that fucking car. And that girl told me she ain't know him. And he the one that after he get catch, then they pick up straight drop. And them three shooters right there, them three shooters been, matter of fact, the three shooters been the first one. Terry on Owens been the first one got locked up. But Terry on Owens, then the three shooters, then straight drop, then uh, Cornelius. But that's six snitches, y'all. That's six of them, boy. Where these dudes at? Anybody can tell me what Terry on Owens at? Anybody out there want to tell me what Terry on Owens at? Oh, I know. Y'all motherfuckers ain't know. Anybody want to tell me what TZ at? Anybody want to tell me what Devin, Barnes, Devin Burns at? Anybody want to tell me what the fuck Sean Dale Barnett at? Anybody want to tell me what the fuck Terrence Jones at? Oh, yeah, y'all, open y'all eye. I'm here to remind y'all motherfucking ass what's going on, all right? I'm here to remind you what's going on because I don't want y'all to forget. You got six motherfuckers already missing and records taken out of the fucking computer system. Niggas at home, Jojo Splat, what the fuck? Hold up, man, we got to start the count all over. God damn it. Jojo Splat, goddamn TZ, goddamn Devin, goddamn uh, Terrence, goddamn Sean Dale, goddamn motherfucking uh, Terry on Owens, goddamn Cornelius Street drop. That's eight right there. That's eight right there. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. Boy, them niggas going under the jail. Man, oh, man. Plus, y'all forget about the 300 motherfucker they pick up in Memphis before they even get all them niggas. They pick up 300 motherfuckers before they even get them. All right? Before they even get any of these niggas there, I done went through Memphis and sweep that bitch with a broom. All right? So, now... We talking about Barnett is a John Doe. Shit, yeah. He's a John. No, he ain't no John Doe. That motherfucker Sammy the Bo. All right? That motherfucker in Arizona somewhere. So I don't know the fuck he at. But they can fuck around and carry the ass to trial if they want to. That nigga gonna come out there in that motherfucking with them high heels on with that big ass Adam Apple sticking on his motherfucking necks. And he gonna tell that motherfucking judge that the one right there. That the one right there. Pee for that motherfucking shit. That one right there. Yeah. You, you'll see the real motherfucker Sean Dale Barnett. Them niggas carry their ass to trial when this motherfucking Rico hit. Yeah, you're going to see who the real TZ is too. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see who the real goddamn Sean Dale, uh, Terry on Owens and the rest of them motherfuckers. And all these low rat motherfuckers here ain't going to do shit for shit. Some rat droppings all over the court. They, by the time they leave out the court, you ain't going to see number rat shit all over the court. Them motherfuckers shit all in the stand, shit all in the goddamn corner. They gonna shit everywhere in the courthouse. Cause they ain't about to be playing with these niggas. They gonna bust their ass they go to trial. Alright? They gonna bust their ass. They gonna let all of the water out of Gaudy Head, okay? Gaudy Head this big. But they gonna let all of the water out that shit when them feds grab his ass. Alright? And big junk. Oh Lord, I can see him now. And a BC like a motherfucker. They gonna have his big water ass. Fucking, he already looked like a fucking Amy gorilla. They gonna have his ass running around princess, uh, uh, prison princess, running around the jailhouse with his shirt tied up and the motherfucker knot in front of that motherfucker. Yes, sir. Him and that boy right there. That one nigga gonna be a little um, knot shirt wearing motherfucker too. Yes, sir. They got them nigga washing drawers and that motherfucker and everything. Yes, Lord. They gonna have them nigga washing drawers, man. Yes, sir. Them nigga there. Man, oh, man. Man, they better not go to the federal penitentiary. I'm going to tell you, in the feds, them boy got real girlfriends in that motherfucker. Yes, Lord, you fuck around and go in there and look at one of them niggas, gal, your ass might end up dead. All right? You go up in there and look at one of them. I, I mean, them niggas take that shit serious, man. Yes, Lord. Them niggas, them niggas handcuffed, walk the track and everything with they bitch. They ain't playing. You fucking better not. All right? So y'all niggas better know what's going on out here now. You better know. These niggas ain't playing with your ass. You go up in there trying to haul at them she-mans and shit. They ain't playing. And the feds is a different ball game, y'all. This ain't no bullshit with them federal. They'll send your motherfucking ass over there to fucking Atwater in California somewhere. Send your ass to Big Sandy. Send your ass down there to goddamn Gladiator School. Send your ass to Jonesville, Virginia, USP Lee. Send your ass down there to goddamn fucking Alcatraz somewhere. Send your ass up there to Colorado. Marion and Florence and shit. Don't fuck around with that federal penitentiary now. Yeah, they got different levels. Yes, sir. All these niggas here going behind the gate. Yes, sir. All of them. They got too much charges. And when they get their fucking PSI back, man, these niggas, all these niggas going behind the, they going to have seven gun tower around there. 
All of them going behind the gun tower. 50 foot walls, kill boxes everywhere. So if you fly a helicopter over that bitch, they're going to shut the engine down right over the top of that motherfucker. Yeah, they ain't playing no games out there. Yeah, then the mountains and shit, man, you fuck around out there in the mountains, man. You, your family comes see you and end up flying off the side of the mountain coming up that motherfucker, all right? These people don't play. They're going to hide your ass. They're going to hide you. Yes, sir. They're going to hide you. They're going to hide you. Trust me. They're going to hide you. For all y'all big time, big head motherfucker out there thinking that shit is a joke. Y'all can live it up now. You can laugh and you can trip and you, y'all fuck that, fuck that. But I guarantee you, and this goes out the black youngster, and this goes out the gaudy, and this goes out the jump, and money bag with your facelift and your ass lift. If you take your punk ass to federal penitentiary, them boy gonna fuck you. All y'all getting fucked. Every last one of y'all. Every last one of them nigga, they gonna get extorted and they gonna get fucked. They ain't trying to go to jail. They better not go to jail. I'm telling you, them niggas ain't cut like that. They ain't cut like that. No, sir. They'll never survive. Them niggas are being PC for the rest of their life. They ain't got it. I'm telling you, they don't got it. And I'm trying to tell you from, from motherfucking, you got to be a goddamn lion in the jungle, man. You got to be a lion to survive back there, man. You can't be no whole ass nigga, man. You got to be able to go when it's when it time to go. You, you, you back there, you got, if your homeboy go, your ass got to go too. You got to go. That's just the way that shit roll. Politics, baby. It's just politics. You know, that's how that shit work. Your car over here, your car over here, your car over here. Nigga, take your ass with the Tennessee car. Take your ass on over there with the Tennessee car now. Go on over there. And them boy from Tennessee, Lord have mercy, better hope they didn't love Dolph the way we love Dolph. Y'all niggas gonna have it bad. Y'all gonna have it bad, man. Y'all gonna have it bad, man. And Michael Scholl, I'm telling you. So you might as well get your shit ready. Right now, get your passports ready and shit. Y'all get your passports ready. CMG, Trula Mafia, all y'all on there that's telling y'all get your passports ready. Y'all better go over there and chill out with Russell Simmons over there fucking Molly somewhere. Boy, I'm going to tell you, Michael Schull already done told on y'all ass. Y'all just wait. The way y'all killed Dolph, y'all going to suffer. The way y'all killed Dolph, y'all going to suffer, man. God, ain't, God don't like ugly, man. God don't like ugly. The way y'all did that shit to young Dolph, God don't like ugly, man. All y'all going to hell. And a handbasket, dog. And you're going to have a torturous, I mean, a miserable, miserable life on this earth. It's just the way y'all did it. Y'all did it like some fucking cowards. Y'all took a man from his family, bro. Y'all took a provider for the community, bro. You had little fucking babies on the side of that road crying behind Dolph, dog. Y'all some bitch-ass niggas, dog. Y'all some real bitch ass niggas and I hope y'all watching right now because I promise y'all when y'all get y'all ass in that federal penitentiary, man, man, them niggas gonna rape y'all ass, man. Yeah, they gonna rape y'all. Every last one of y'all gonna get raped every day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because y'all done fuck with the wrong nigga when y'all did that shit to Dolph. Them niggas back there going, man, you got niggas all over the world that love Dolph. They ain't even from Tennessee, man. Y'all gonna have it bad, bro. Y'all gonna have it bad. Laugh now, cry later. Laugh now, cry later, man. That's what y'all gonna do. And everybody else that's involved with this, all right? All these people in the backdrops, you know what I'm saying? All these shit. I know y'all regret killing Young Dog. I know y'all do. That was a mistake. Yeah, a big mistake, too. If y'all could take it back right now, I bet y'all wish y'all would. Y'all would take that shit back. I swear y'all would right now. Y'all would take it back. Every last one of you niggas that set him up would take it back. Because y'all didn't never think that this shit was going to bring this type of repercussion on y'all ass. Y'all thought y'all were going to just kill Dolph. 
that means just gonna be another murder that they sweep up under the rug in Memphis, and they've been gonna go ahead on about their business and y'all little heat and ass from gonna run around and then be back broke again after you know spend that little bit of money you get to kill them. All right, that's some bullshit. All y'all did this shit with the help of other niggas that was close to Dolph. All of y'all, y'all backdoor that fucking man. Y'all backdoor him and your side door him and your front door him. All right, and this is sad what the fuck y'all did. All right. This is sad, what y'all did. Y'all gonna get every ounce of this shit back, man. Watch what I tell you. Remember, Old Nan TV told y'all this shit. They're gonna get every ounce of this shit back, man. God is not gonna let these niggas get away with this. I don't care what these Justice Department do. God ain't gonna let y'all get away with this. He gonna get you. He's gonna get you. Teasy, black youngster, black youngster, you the most disrespectful motherfucker I know on the face of the earth. Not only did, you know, you bragged and boast about killing young Dove, right? Not only did you do that, you went onto the web and you put your arm around a shovel while this man, kids and shit, was mourning over his death, and you put Thornton on a fucking tombstone and rapped a song about him, this man ain't been in the ground a month yet. I don't know where these guys get this dissing the dead from shit, but this some most disrespectful shit on the earth, and if you little punk motherfuckers know how this shit rule, y'all would never do that shit. You understand? Because them dead will come back and get your ass. Yes, Lord, come here. For all you little young generation motherfuckers out there thinking that this death shit something to play with, go ahead, keep calling the dead. Keep calling their name when they're going. The motherfuckers show up at your front door like Candyman, man. They'll come back and get you, bruh. They will come back and get you. Y'all think it's a game. You smoking on this one. You smoking on that one. When the fuck y'all start that? When the fuck y'all start smoking dead ops, nigga? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Nigga, don't you know your tongue professes life and death? You can speak life and you damn sure can speak death with your tongue? You little ignorant motherfuckers. Y'all ignorant as shit. Y'all think that shit cute. To go running around here telling people you smoking on your dead homie. I've never, ever, in my life, ever talked about anybody that died around me like that. Or even if I didn't, even if I didn't like, and I had enemies, when they were dead and gone, they were just dead, man. We just left that alone. That that's done. That shit in the ground. We ain't talk about it no more. All right, y'all little motherfuckers. Y'all want recognition. Y'all want clout. Y'all chasing a shit called clout, right? That gonna put your ass in the clouds. All right? You're chasing clout, gonna cause your ass to be in the clouds. You wanna fame off another nigga name. And all y'all cowards at the end of the day. Y'all a bunch of fucking cowards. You go out here and you make rap songs and shit about killing people. You'll go do a murder and then you put it in a song and then you wanna get mad at niggas. For bringing it on the internet. Nigga, you self snitching. You telling on yourself. I mean, come on, man. I mean, what could be more disrespectful? What could be more disrespectful, y'all, right now, than what these guys doing? I mean, they ain't even, they, they doing this shit like it's just nothing out here right now. They, 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 they talking. They telling at all time high. And then they don't even know the street, y'all. Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ. Y'all say to put it in the comment box. Lord have mercy. They don't even know the street. None of these niggas know the street, man. None of them. This nigga right here got caught. Walk up on the police and tell the police it's his car. So the police lock him and his girl up. And then you got another nigga kept a ledger right here. 
with everybody names in it who he done sold dope to. I mean, what the fuck is going on here, Frank? I mean, I, I just don't understand this. I, I mean, we, you know, we, we probably one of the most ignorant species to walk on the face of the earth right now. And, you know, I'm, I'm you know, and, and the melanin, the melanin people are the, are the best. All right. But we got some dumbass people in this world, man, that don't think, man, they don't think they just do shit. They don't think about shit. They don't think about the repercussions. They don't think about shit, man. And these dudes running around here don't let this money get to their fucking head, man. Money, can, money can't save you. The devil give blessings too, y'all. Y'all think that these blessings coming from God? This ain't no God shit these niggas got. When y'all see these motherfuckers on Instagram, everybody on Instagram flashing money, and everybody got these nice cars, and they showing jewelry and shit, and you looking at this Instagram page, you saying, damn, boy, I fucked up. Boy, I wish I could be like this. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could get my money straight. No, 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 no. That's poison. They setting your ass up. They want you to see all that shit that the devil doesn't give these motherfuckers. Because anything God gives you, nobody can't take it from you. So when the devil gives blessings, he take it back. Look at Thugger Thugger. All that fucking money he got. And he want to wear lipstick and kill niggas. And look where he at. Look where the fuck he at now. And they're acting like a bitch. And had $40 million living in a $7 million house. Right? All them shit the devil done give him. The devil did him just like he did Jesus. Take him all the way up to the top of the mountain and say, look here. You curse him right now, I give you all this shit. Curse him right now, I give you all this shit. These dumbass niggas get put in a trick bag. Some niggas are curse him. That's how they get that shit. They get these fancy cars, they get a bunch of money, they get all this shit, and they think it, and then the first thing they do. Is when they win their little Grammy, they go up on that stage and they say, you know, I just want to give, I just like to uh, give God all the glory. Boy, fuck you. Boy, what the fuck you calling God name for? You just talking about shooting a nigga down with a motherfucking chopper. Get your ass up out of here, man. Get up out of here. Nigga, the devil give you that shit. You got tricked, nigga. You got tricked. And y'all think that shit... Y'all running around here glorifying these rappers when old Nan TV done showed y'all. I came into this game. Everybody want to know where did old Nan come from? Who is this guy? Why is he so concerned about this young dog case? What's going on here? They call me the police. They call me every fucking thing. I, I, they don't call me everything but the child of God on YouTube, all right? They talk about my family. They talk about my dead kids. They talk about all kinds of shit. They, they, these motherfuckers, man, oh man, let me tell y'all, when you start to be successful in life and you get on your mission, the devil will come through that goddamn, he'll come through this fucking microphone if he think he can get to me, all right? The motherfucker been at me my whole life, all right? The devil been trying to get me so long to the point where he went and got other motherfuckers around me because he couldn't get me. So he just tear everything around me, tear everything from around me that been already working for him. So when I decided to get myself on the right side of God and the right side of this thing, I already know what my mission been. My mission been to educate my people, wake them up, and let them know that somebody out there care. I done been through all that shit these niggas here about to go through, except for without the telling. My mom and my family and everybody watching this, they know who I am. They know exactly who the fuck I am. And they know that I ain't never signed a motherfucking piece of paperwork on a damn soul in my motherfucking life, all right? I've been a stand-up guy, took the face of motherfucking trial, okay? And you little sorry motherfuckers, boy, oh boy, y'all need to keep old man TV name in your mouth. These motherfuckers making videos right now, doing all this little extra shit, putting old man TV name in their fucking titles, they talking shit. And I'm not going to respond to these low-level motherfuckers. Because they beneath me. They like dog shit up under my shoe. I'm on a mission, you fuck nigga. And I ain't going to stop until this motherfucking goddamn train run off the fucking track, nigga. Fuck you, your mama, and everybody else that brought you in this motherfucker, all right? As long as you don't cross paths with me, you all right. That's all I'm going to tell you. I ain't calling no names. And I ain't doing none of that shit. I ain't sending no shots. But I'm just telling you I ain't a nigga you want to fuck with, all right? I'm not. I ain't a nigga you want to fuck with. 
I do this shit for my people. I do this shit for Dolph. I do this shit for Dolph kids. I do this shit for my kids. I do this shit for your kids. Because we tired of seeing these dumb motherfuckers fucking up our goddamn culture. These motherfuckers talk shit about my dad churn. You get on the internet and make a fucking video about babies that were killed. You niggas ought to be shot. Nobody likes you. That's why they won't look at your shit. Nobody likes you. You don't give information to the people. The people don't love you. You might as well stop your fucking fuckery. The people don't like you. They hate you. Go look at it. Just look at your numbers. That'll tell you, sit your ass down somewhere you're in the big boy league now. And this shit has to be addressed. This shit has to be addressed right now. Because I know everything around me and I know everybody that crossed my path. All right? I know everybody that crossed my path and I know my mission that I'm on right now. I know my mission that I'm on. I'm seeking for justice. For not just this black man, but for a lot of black men in this world that are going to come past. You know, I woke up 3 o'clock in the morning. I asked God what he wanted me to do. And he said, go give the people your voice. Go tell them what you know. And that's what I did. 3 o'clock in the morning, God, I made a fucking video. And it's been history ever since. It's been history ever since, man. That's all it been. Y'all motherfuckers ain't so used to seeing real people. Y'all don't even know. If I pull this motherfucking mask off right now, man, y'all niggas mouth will hit the goddamn floor. You understand? Y'all ain't even used to real people being in your life. You don't even know how to, you don't even know how to recognize a real person. You don't. Because you ain't never been around nobody real. You've been up the fuckery your whole life. You've been up the fuckery your whole life. So you can't recognize something you ain't never had. I break my neck to come bring the people the truth. I put my motherfucking life on the line to bring my fucking people the truth. What the fuck are you doing? But standing there holding another man nuts in your hand. You holding a nigga nuts in your hand. While a nigga fighting for justice, I got a nigga holding my nuts at. This is pathetic. They putting on that TV on their videos. Hoping that somebody see this shit. Y'all ought to go and crash that nigga channel. You understand? Any nigga that talk about babies and shit, y'all ought to crash that nigga channel. Because that nigga's a whole ass nigga. Alright? This is the type of shit that niggas do. They're a bunch of bitch ass niggas. They'll stand with you and act like they down with you, but at the end of the day, man, they want to take your place. Jealous ass nigga. They smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. Them backstabbers. Backstabbers. Yes, Lord. Them niggas stab your ass in the back. Who the fuck am I? Nigga, they, who the fuck am I? They talk shit about Jesus Christ, nigga. I don't stand a chance, nigga. I don't stand a chance. They spit on Jesus. They hang his ass to a cross. I don't stand a chance. I never stand a chance. And it's always our own people that try to tear us down. Always our own people. It never. We are our worst fucking enemy, bro. We are our worst enemy, bro. We are our worst fucking enemy. The minute that the, the next motherfucker see you reaching the masses or they trying to see you trying to climb to get to better heights or try to climb to do something different, the motherfuckers come and stab you, bro. They don't want to see you fucking win. They don't want to see you win. They want to see you die. So that they can get up there and talk about nothing. Mislead you like they've been doing. I let God lead me. I let God lead me. I always move in silence. I always move in silence, Britain. Certain shit got to be addressed. You know what I'm saying? Certain shit got to be addressed. My people need to stand up with me. Y'all need to stand up with me. 
Y'all need to stand up with me right now while we get justice for Dolph, and then we'll move on and get justice for whoever else we need to. But y'all need to stand up with me, man. Stand up. Don't be letting people out here just try to tear down what we done built as a family, as a group of people. We supposed to be standing on the side of right, not fucking wrong. You know what I'm saying? Not wrong. We not standing on the sides of these people, man. We tired of this shit. Why we can't just all fucking be on one accord without stepping on the next person's foot? I had people that attacked me. I don't even fucking know on the internet. Man, I done had to, man, I swear to God to y'all. Man, I talking about, I done had people attack me I never even talk about. I never seen these people. I'm like, hey, I had to literally ask these people, what the fuck did I do to you? Did, did I do something to you? They be like, no, you ain't done nothing to me. Why the fuck you make a whole video about me then? What the fuck you got going on? I'm a fucking man too. I'm a man too. Y'all just respect again. I had to close down and make a members only. Right? I had to make a members only because we trying to fight for justice. And then you got people that are coming to the comment box. And then they'll just try to tear down what we got going on. The devil will seep into the comment box. He'll seep into everything. And, and, and you know, we just got to close it down. So that's why we going to members only. These motherfuckers got a week. That's all they got left uh, on that. One week. Y'all got seven days. And the only reason I did that right now, because them numbers, when I get them numbers the way I want it to be yet, when I get that three, you know, that them numbers, I'm out. Only people going to be watching me is people that are my members. I ain't dealing with these people no more. You know, God say, walk with a few. When you strong and you powerful, you only going to be walking with a little bit of people, man. You ain't about to be walking with no bunch of people, man. Because they, they ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? They're coming to your house and act like they're your friend and tear that bitch down. Burn it up. Burn it up. Burn it up. Burn it up. And these the older people. I'm talking about these people fucking old. These 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 people got them 50, 60, 70 years old. They ain't got shit to do but try to destroy some shit. And I'm like, what the fuck y'all got going on? I mean, what the hell do y'all really got going on? Y'all ain't got no life. Y'all fucking miserable. What the fuck going on? I mean, y'all 50, 60 years old. Eavesdropping. Going, running around, playing on people's channel. You taking information from here, trying to take it back there. Oh, I got this one. Some lady called me, uh, been in my comment box today and tell me, say, that's what a lady say, y'all. Let me tell y'all how fucked up these people is. I ain't even gonna call her name, but she say, hey, I, hey, on then, I got some stuff to, to talk to you about. Uh, I'm gonna tell you how I uh, messed low down. i uh, been trying to uh, do such and such and such and such, right? So I'm saying to myself, why the fuck you bringing me information about Miss Loda? Man, I don't give a fuck about nothing them people got going on over there. Now, you've been over there the whole time watching that shit over there. Now, the minute she fucking piss you off or fuck you off, you run over here to me to try to get me to attack her with your bullshit. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Leave me the fuck out there. We on a mission. Young Dolph. These people are fucking pathetic, man. It's, they pathetic. They ain't got shit else to do. But sit there and run their goddamn mouth and try to make up lies and shit about people, man. That's it. And try to start shit between people. That's all they want to do. That's all they want to do. Now, I know some people feel this kind of hurt because they can't be around me in Clubhouse and shit like that. Like, I, I, I made my circle smaller now. And you know what I'm saying? I caught a lot of people from around me. But, you know, when, when I let go of people that was in my clubhouse, they, they, their feelings got hurt. That shit hurt them. Like, really, 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 really hurt them. And, I, you know, sometimes, you know, you just got to cut people from, from around you, man. Because once you don't feel that shit, you just... I might wake up one day and just say, I don't want to deal with this motherfucker no more. You know, my God might just say to me, hey, cut him loose. Hey, I ain't asking no questions. Cut him loose. That's just how that shit go, man. Some days... It's just like that, man. I'm, I'm going to go with what God saying, what my stomach saying. I don't go against my motherfucking gut. If my gut tell me to do something, that would have fuck getting done. All right? I don't go against my gut. Because I done learned my lesson from that shit. Going against my goddamn gut, no hell no. I'm going right with what the fuck I feel and what God tell me to do. 
That's what you call going against the green. That's exactly what you call going against the green. And we ain't trying to go against no green. No, sir. We ain't trying to go against no green. We ain't trying to do none of that shit. We trying to keep it 100 and positive out here so that we can seek justice for young dog. And so that we can have, you know, we don't have to have no more young black brothers getting murdered by brothers. These motherfuckers around here screaming, black lives matter. Black lives matter. How the fuck a black life matter when you out here killing motherfucker left and right then you want the motherfucker white man to respect us. How the fuck they gonna respect us when you keep killing the fucking black man and you keep tearing the black man down in the front of the fucking white man and these motherfuckers who you should have been motherfucking killing, you ain't out here killing. All right? You got motherfuckers out here selling guns that they done killed niggas with in an auction. You sorry ass niggas. You sorry motherfuckers. All right? You got motherfuckers that done kill motherfuckers out here and sell a gun in a fucking auction. And you niggas still got him out here. But you a killer motherfucker who taking care of the whole community. Lord Jesus, boy, you niggas fucked up. You fucked up. You can't help yourself. You got motherfucker out here that gun motherfucker down in broad daylight. Still living. Got the black man down the broad lady that's still living. Y'all attack all these motherfucking niggas on the street, but you don't hit the people that fuck your people over. How y'all still out here doing this? How y'all still doing this? And y'all calling yourself real. You ain't real. What's so real about you? That you a coward? That's the only real shit coming out there. You's a goddamn coward. You got my fuck out here talking shit. Talking about nothing. I mean absolutely nothing, man. People out here talking about absolutely nothing right now. I mean they ain't talking about nothing. Now let me let, let, let me let me let me show y'all some more content. <clears throat> y'all excuse me, because I went fishing today, matter of fact. Ain't called a goddamn thing but another cool. All right, I went fishing the day and ain't caught shit but another fucking cool. All right, so I'm going to let you know. All right, now, this guy right here, Joshua Huglet. This is CEO Bobby, y'all. He not been hit with conspiracy. Greater than $250,000. Now, y'all tell me what the fuck y'all think that this boy done hit. That's more than $250,000. He's in a conspiracy now, Okay. He's in a conspiracy now, and conspiracy means more than one person conspired to do this. Who was his co-defendant, and what the fuck has he done? But this is the first one that's been dropped in a conspiracy right now. Y'all see this? Y'all hold up, Barbara. Let me get my. Let me get to it. All right. Let me get to it. This thing is planned out. Y'all see this right here? Conspiracy. Y'all ever seen Memphis drop a conspiracy charge on somebody before? CEO Bobby is now being charged with conspiracy. A theft over $250,000. What the fuck did this nigga steal? Or conspired to steal somebody or did something that they took that was more than $250,000 to cause these people to come back and hit him with a conspiracy charge. Conspiracy carried fucking 20 years off the max. Were those some necklaces? Were those Dolph necklaces? Were those some chains? Uh-oh. I tell y'all, old man, will be fucking around. This had to have been some chains, bruh. This, no, I don't know now, because look, y'all, it couldn't have been no chains because of the dates, y'all. This this was stolen on August the 14th. He caught this charge 2019. So y'all can't say that it was Dolph Chains. This shit happened in 2019. <laughs> so ain't no damn cause. What fucking call you know he's still over $250,000. And conspiracy, so that 
Conspiracy is two or more that conspire to do a criminal act. So was it, what year was that Bass Pro Shop trailer broken into when all them guns came out? What year, maybe it's a chop shop, y'all, but I'm just putting it out there for y'all so that y'all can see this. He has conspiracy now. On top of all that shit he got going on, he's been hit with a conspiracy charge. It's G Train son. And all y'all from Memphis, y'all know who G Train is. This ain't no drugs, um, Miss Dorothy Cody. Because this ain't theft of property. All right? So I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's all them guns stolen out the Apple and Police Farm or some shit like that. Or maybe they hit the police station. Who knows? But this motherfucker got a conspiracy charge right now. See it right there? Joshua Hughley. Yes, Lord. So uh, are we we trying to figure this out. What did he do? And because they got the charge said decimation. Uh, it says, it says, uh, decimation of confidential information is on this charge. So at the top, it says decimation of confidential information at the top of this charge. All right. Cookie Williams just became a menu. Thank you, Cookie Williams. But that's what this says. This says decimation of comp uh decimation of confidential information at the top of this damn charge. All right. And that shit kind of shaky to me, man, because I, I just don't know what the hell. I don't know what the hell I boy done did, man. All right, now let's talk about this. Because I don't think we put enough emphasis on this. So I'm going to put some more emphasis on this shit right here. All right? I'm going to put some more emphasis on this shit right here. Because I don't like the way that y'all let this shit go. Y'all let this shit go. And y'all act like this shit didn't mean nothing. All right? Y'all act like this shit didn't mean nothing. So we're going to go ahead and put this right here on the board for everybody to see. Everybody know who this woman is right here? Anybody know who this girl is right here? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Let's go ahead and put this up under your uh, stuff right here. Uh, put that on top right there. Woo, woo, woo. Anybody know who this woman is right here? Anybody know? Huh? Anybody want to uh, tell me who this is? Nobody knows in the box. Man, y'all ain't shit. Man, this is your Gotti family member. And her name is Latoya Mims. Police Radio Dispatcher. Latoya Mims is a police radio dispatcher. That's her right there. Latoya Mims is a police radio dispatcher for Memphis Police Department. All right. Now, this right here is a picture. I miss Latoya Mims. Now I want to know. Miss Latoya Mims was working the day that young Dolph was killed. I'm going to do the research, y'all, and I'm going to come back and tell y'all if she was working that day that young Dolph was killed. And that's how those cars got mixed up. That's how the scene got fucked up and all of this shit because, hey, we had a MIMS working right in there. And that's how those police got dispatched, the preview, and all that shit. 
This girl is a fucking 911 dispatcher, bro. In Memphis. She's listed under the Memphis Police Department as a radio dispatcher. And he got a few family members working in that motherfucker from what I understand. This girl is a damn police dispatcher, man. This is crazy. That th This is fucking insane. Did she know this shit was going to happen that day? Was she tipped off? Was That's why the city been going crazy and they been sending calls here and here and here and here. I mean, it was a fucking melee when Young Dolph died. A melee. People were fucking Memphis was up in arms. I mean, police everywhere. Shooting over here, shooting over here, shooting. They were plotting. People were going out there out and just shooting guns in the air, calling the fucking police. Call the police over here. Call the police over here. They had so many distractions when Young Dolph got killed, y'all. This shit is fucked up. They had so many distractions when he got killed. It was like fucking, like a fucking crazy shit going on that day. Crazy shit. All right. And here come Miss Latoya Mims, a radio dispatcher. Yo Gotti's family member, Latoya Mims. Radio dispatcher for Memphis Police Department. This was so easy to just take all the cops and send them right on over there to Preview or uh, Yo Gotti's Mama Restaurant when they got a whole fucking 911 dispatcher sitting up in there with the last name Mims. Now, I'm not going to blame you, baby girl. All right? I'm not going to blame you yet. But I'm going to find out who the fuck been on duty that day. And Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ, if you was working that day, Dolph got killed. Oh, shit, boy, we got problems in the house. All right? We got problems in the house, Lord. Boy, if Latoya been working that day, we got fucking problems. So all y'all go out there right now, all them bloggers and shit, whoever the fuck got that 911 tip, or whoever going on with that shit, y'all find out who the fuck that dispatcher been that day. Find out who the dispatcher was. Hit me in the email. All right. Let's find out who the dispatcher was because they have multiple dispatches now. So let's just find out if little Miss Mims been over there running a goddamn plea for goddamn. Yo, got it. All right. Let's find out if she was running a plea, y'all. Let's just find this out. We can't blame her now. But boy, oh boy, this girl's a goddamn 911 dispatcher, man. This don't make no fucking sense here. I mean, they name just all over this shit. I mean, just get a paintbrush, man. Just get a fucking paintbrush, man. Just paint CMG all over this shit. All over this shit here. Just get, get the paintbrush and the red paint, man. We have a color the motherfuckers like over there, man. We have a color they like. Y'all just get it up, man. This shit is fucking crazy. Why does Yo Gotti have a family member that's a fucking dispatcher? What the fuck is going on? And this is where all of the problems came from that day, that 911 dispatcher. They 911 dispatcher had the people looking for a fucking Mustang. Y'all, they had the people looking for a Mustang. A Mustang. Am I lying? Did somebody say it was a Mustang? Gave them enough time to figure that shit out? And then they changed it over to the Mercedes? Or, but... Didn't the 911 reporter report that it was a Mustang? Somebody just tell me. Or uh, somebody out there reported that it was a Mustang. That, and then, you know, this shit goes on. Somebody just tell me. Because this don't make no sense right here. How the fuck can a 911, yo Gotti, fucking people's a dispatcher? In the fucking police station, bro. It was a gazillion calls at that restaurant. You're goddamn right. Matter of fact, we're gonna look at it. All right. We're gonna look at it. Motherfucker. We we gonna look. Let me let me open up a new goddamn window right here. Hold on. Lord, and I got so much goddamn window open. I can't open up no fucking more. Let me get, get some get rid of some of this shit here.
All right. So, y'all, we're going to leave her up there. All right. Take these conspiracy dudes down. Get rid of all these police on our board. Well, they ain't nothing but police on this board, yeah. That's all up here. It's a bunch of pole poles, all right? All right, you don't want to act right over here. Let's 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 just go see this. So now we're gonna take y'all here. Y'all want me to end this now? Y'all wanna do y'all wanna keep going? Cause I, I can keep going all fucking night. If I can go to the brick of dawn if y'all want me to. You know what I'm saying? But we need to uh I need y'all to really, really, really look at this shit right here, man. You know. All right. So let's do this. All right. All right. Cops sent to Yo Gotti's All right, y'all, let's 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 see this right here. Then they had up a fake up fake ass rumor saying that the restaurant was shot up, all this bullshit, right? And and I mean they just had a lot of shit going on that day, lying like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Uh I mean they just was doing the fucking most, man. They were doing the fucking most up there. Lying, talking about, yeah, Black Youngster Granny House got shot up. Yeah, they just shot, people all out on the outside, they just shot up Black Youngster Granny House. Lying like a motherfucker. They had people out there shooting all kind of goddamn bullshit out there. Yes, Lord, they been shooting all kind of bullshit out there. Telling everybody all this bullshit was going on out there, and a damn thing happened. Not a damn thing happened out there. All right, this one. We gonna uh, we gonna y'all give me one little second. Let's uh let this buff out or whatever. I guess this dumb damn ass shit is. The traffic delays. He's talking about the result of a shooting on Airways Boulevard uh, at a bakery there, and a rapper, uh, a well-known rapper, Young Dolph. Uh, killed in that shooting as police are, are on the scene right now trying to figure it out. I understand we have uh, re established contact with our reporter who's on the ground there, uh, Caitlin McCarthy. Uh, okay, we just have the live report. Let's at least look at that picture if we can, see what the scene is like right now. You see the police presence uh, and um, I lost track how many squad cars I've seen there, Rudy, but a number, number of officers on the scene trying to, if they're not helping with the investigation, uh, they're at least trying to establish a perimeter and try to keep fans and, and friends and family at bay so that they can do their job and, and try to get the clues they need and evidence they need to uh, uh, prosecute a case later on. Yeah, if you look very closely at that shot there, to your left, you can see the Shell gas station sign, but right before that you can see, thanks a, thanks a lot Spencer, Spencer is our photographer there, the Makita's homemade butter cookie sign. And you see the crime tape there, and in that parking lot you can also see the cars that were in that parking lot at that time of the incident. Um, Spencer, if you could. The officers gathered right, right there, there. Yeah. in a circle, uh, yeah. right where the shooting occurred. That's right, so you see the, the black car there. Is that, uh, uh, that one's a little bit older than me, Richard. Is that a, uh, is that a Lincoln? <laughs> is the reason why you're coming to me for that question, Richard? Really? It looks like a Lincoln to me, but uh, unfortunately the monitor I'm using is uh, several feet away from me and my eyes are going, so that might be an age-related issue as well. Well, uh, I see they're putting down the markers. The parking lot in this video, they're exactly putting down markers for bullet shells on the outside. Y'all see that? They trying to, I see some markers that he, he picking up the markers. Well-known 
from coast to coast and around the Y'all see the guy bending down. Uh, was, was shot and killed. And as we've gotten reports, and as I'm being told by our producer. All of the markers are at the front back. door. Late model Lincoln there. He putting markers on the ground. Lamborghini yeah. right there in the, in the parking lot. It also looks like some At the front door. In that building. But that could have been from, that may have been there before the situation this evening. Because those boards look like they're pretty, uh, pretty set and steady. Mm -hmm. Um. And of course, this incident just happened, so an investigation is occurring, so there would not be an opportunity for that sort of work to be done there. So that, uh, once again, is a live picture that we're showing you right now. Uh, officers uh, live on live TV right now gathering evidence at this crime scene. Uh, we know this happened around 1 this afternoon, that uh, rapper Young Dolph was uh, at this uh, butter cookie uh, bakery, uh, Makita's Bakery, about that time uh, when someone walked up, this is according to uh, uh, witnesses that have been quoted, and um, uh, was shot point blank and got back in a car and, and took off. And uh, hopefully uh, there will be surveillance video that will come out that might uh, give some clues as to who was driving that vehicle. Hopefully eyewitnesses uh, laid eyes on the suspect. Hopefully they laid eyes on the suspect's car and hopefully uh, officers will have uh, caught and cuffed uh, who's responsible uh, sooner rather than later. Adolph Robert Thornton Jr., Young Dolph, um, rapper, songwriter, um, has performed and worked with Two Chains, Gucci Mane, Key Glock, who he worked with on his latest album, uh, just released, already charting. Um, known for lots of hits, Get Paid, 100 Shots, Bulletproof. While he's left this music for his fans and the world, he's also left a community uh, desperately and eagerly wanting to know what has happened uh, in this unfortunate situation this evening. And he's leaving a, a city that uh, loved him, loved him back uh, as he loved it. Uh, we, if you're just joining us, we had his aunt uh, joining us live. The markers are a several at minutes the, ago, and she was obviously the markers uh, are at the front door. The loss of her nephew, but uh, went on and on about the, uh, the mouse he. They were putting markers down at the front door, y'all. And so often did it without expecting uh, anyone to know about it. Uh, that's what giving people do. They don't expect credit for it, and that's just the kind of guy he was. It reminds me somewhat of the stories you hear about Elvis doing the same thing. Would give a car to somebody. Uh, would would just out of the generosity in his heart, help other people, and that's uh, they were what, putting uh, markers uh, down at the front uh, door. We're learning if, if you didn't know already, uh, was known for at least in the city he considered. Y'all look up, y'all can see them, yeah, I have right there. See the markers, they put the markers at the front door, giveaway at the front the, uh, of Young Dove car going to the front Dove door. Are the markers family. on the ground, uh, turkeys, hams, and the fixings for uh, for their tables. And as we know this year would have been especially important because we we're seeing the rising costs and even shortages of some of those things. But I would think that young Dolph will find a way. All right. This investigation is likely to go on into, uh, into, the, into the evening and we will be here to bring you any new information that comes out of this. Um, you know, once again, Dolph, uh, not the first time the target of, of shootings, unfortunately. Um, once in Charlotte, uh, North Carolina in 2017 and outside of another retail store out in Los Angeles, California in 2017. In that incident, he spent two weeks in the hospital, but um, he did survive that. Unfortunately, today, uh, not quite the case. So normally, if this uh, all this flew around one this afternoon, as we understand it, um, we would expect pretty soon we'll get at least some initial report from a police spokesperson on uh, where things stand in the investigation. All right, let me speed up a little uh, bit so y'all can see where they went to the restaurant at. <laughs> and he often talk. All right. So y'all y'all saw in about? that article, y'all saw right there, they, oh. they, were, they were putting uh, <laughs> bullet, they were putting so, cones down. This is where Dolph grew up at. And the community is really hurt. And they not just hurt by being hurt because of that. They hurt because of the person he was that helped the community. Helped feed the hungry. Helped clothe the kids. Christmas. All that's gone. Who's going to help now? That was a big response. Who the fuck going to help now, y'all sorry ass niggas? 
Rudy, she went on and on about uh, the different things he's done, and we've, we've talked about it several times today. Uh, he, he didn't think twice about giving back. Yeah, and Caitlin McCarthy, our reporter there, ABC24, caught her speechless in one moment when uh, she asked her to reflect on the impact that Dolph has made uh, in that community. She called it the Grove. Um, and in larger terms, we often call that the Airways um, area of Memphis, Tennessee, but the Grove is what that neighborhood um, calls it, it's, it's itself and, and what it is. And All right, let's get up here so we can see this, what's going on. We're showing you. All right, and, uh, that's what I want to see right here. Gave back to his community. That's what I, I want y'all to see. Of All right. Not only what- Check this doing, white boy what, out. Check this white boy out. That's the white boy that got shot, y'all. He got shot right here. Y'all see the EMSs all around his truck. Look at the blood on him. He said he got shot, look like. Get in the comment box, y'all. Tell me if I'm correct. Look at this guy and tell me he got shot. Who shot him? He was down the street. And I think when Marcus was shooting that gun down that street, I think Marcus might have shot this dude right here, man. I don't know, but they pulled up in the goddamn pickup truck. And that motherfucker was bloody as shit. He got blood all down his pants. Look at him. If we can, just the public that has shown up and, and shown some interest and wanted to show their support uh, for what uh, uh, the career that Young Dolph had and the, and the ways he gave back to his community. Uh, okay, this is a camera that's on the other side. He was shot. Uh, of the crime scene uh, from the one we were showing you. And uh, Rudy, maybe you have a better advantage. Look all that blood right there on the on his side. He got blood all on his side right here. And he's at Young Dolph's scene. And he's bloody as shit. All right? Can somebody tell us what's going on here? I mean, he got no draws. He's two seconds from seeing his ass. But I'm just saying, look all the blood on his left-hand side right here. You got the cops right here trying to take a report. They're looking at him like, where the fuck this motherfucker come from? And uh, he just pulled up out of nowhere, shot the fuck up. He said he got shot. See, he was down the street and got shot. Point of what's going on there that I can see. Well, we've just gotten word into the newsroom that someone else has been shot. Uh, in there it goes. We just got word from the newsroom that someone else got shot. Y'all heard it, right? Listen. Back it up a little bit for you. And uh, Rudy, maybe you have a better vantage point of what's going on there that I can see. Well, into the newsroom that someone else has been shot uh, in that area. And we've got news crews. Uh, we had two news crews going to this particular scene, but we're moving one of those crews. Oh, shit. Hold up, man. Who the hell was that? Man, that face look familiar right there. Uh-oh, spaghetti, yo. Hold up, man. Hold up. Who in the fuck was that? News crews, uh, we had two news crews going to this particular being one of those crews there. Um, our reporter and our crews are safe. Um, we don't have all of the details to that, but we'll get those to you as we've got a crew uh, going to that scene uh, right now at this moment in time. So what you're looking at right now is the crimes. All right, y'all. Let's find Black Youngster out here. All right. Where it is that Black Youngster was on this scene. All right. He's on this scene. You got these guys all right here looking crazy as shit. You got a dude over here in a black hoodie. Right here on the left hand side. You got a dude over here in all black. Somewhere in this fucking footage, we gonna see some shit. Um, we don't have all of the details to that, but we'll get those to you as we've got a crew uh, going to that scene uh, right now at this moment in time. So. You're looking at right now is the 
I got eagle eyes, so y'all give me one second, because I'm looking like a motherfucker right now. I'm about to find my man right now, all right? Y'all just give me one second. Ornan is on a mission. This is the first time I actually watched this whole fucking video, all right? Because I'm being still around Makita's cookies on airways uh, where uh, young Dolph um, was reportedly shot in the parking lot and killed this uh, earlier this afternoon. Rudy, are we, uh, do we know uh, how many people were shot in this uh, second shooting and uh, when it happened in relationship to uh, the one at the uh, bakery? Details are very scarce right now. Um, these are, this is preliminary, so... Uh, of course, when Brittany Clement, um, our up. Hey, y'all, I see a white car right here that's caught up inside of here in this family dollar. A white car is in this family dollar. The reporter arrives there. We will and that's not a police car. Look to bring more information in that case. Um, um, as soon as we can get them. And it looks like Caitlin is setting up to speak with someone else there, so we'll hear from her very shortly, um, too. And I'm, I'm quite sure th th there, there will be no shortage of people close to uh, young Dolph uh, that have come to Airways to find out uh, exactly what happened uh, and to see what went down there this afternoon with the uh, rapper. Yes, you can hear it, you can hear it in the video. I'm listening to you, but you can hear somebody saying that's Black Youngster Car, all right? You can hear it in the video. So let me show y'all something else, right? Now, we already we already put it out there. Uh, police guards, Yo Gotti's Memphis Restaurant. All right, so let's see. All right. Now, this is the, the guarding of the restaurant that day. All right, and as y'all can clearly see, let's click on it right here. Let's let's, let's get this up. Yeah. All right. God, he was a rival, a dog, blah, 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 blah. The reports about black youngsters, F. Uh, grandmother's house being shot up a false please stop fading uh, spreading fake uh, fake news but that was during the time that they were shooting but people were saying that his grandmother's house got shot up which we know that was a damn lie that was nothing but a damn distraction to fuck the people over alright so this is crazy girl what you singing about you that damn baby ready to get the hell up out that car seat that baby said I don't want to hear this shit God damn it. All right. Y'all look. So there you go, y'all. This is the restaurant that they were guarding that day when Yo Gotti, uh family member was there or whatever, or uh, however that shit, you know, was going down. But this is how the cops guarding it. And the reason that we brought that up was because, we, you know, we were talking about today basically about this girl right here and this piece of evidence right here now nah. and get rid of this all right so here you have it her name Latoya Mims all right, Latoya Mims, Yo Gotti's Restaurant, Mother's Restaurant, right, Mims Latoya, and let's scroll it over right here, all right, and this is what we have, we have her, the dispatcher, and the cops over here guarding this restaurant. And I don't know why the fuck the cops over here when somebody else dead on the other side of town and they ain't even had enough cars to really take the people down there to go do what they gotta do. 
But this girl, Latoya Mims, is the police services, Latoya Mims, and police radio dispatcher. And let me tell y'all something. Y'all know I read a report today on Big Juke, right? Let me tell y'all what I read about Big Juke. And I have the report, too. And I'll pull y'all cord right now. But don't y'all know the police knock on Big Juke door? And told Big Juke, hey, we just coming here because we want to tell you that we got word that somebody want to kill you. The police went and told Big Juke that we got word that somebody want to kill you. They knock on his door, went into his house, kick his house in, find weed, guns, and all kind of shit. And he beat, I, I don't know, he was on probation during the time. And they went up in that motherfucker. But they said they knocked on his door to tell him that, hey, man, we got a tip from an informant, an informant that says that your life is in danger. Yes, Lord, I swear to God, I got the report, too. All right. She's a dispatcher. I checked the Memphis website. I believe she was one since 2020. All right. So y'all know I ain't playing. She's a damn dispatcher. All right. We do our homework over here. Mims Latoya. She's a goddamn dispatcher. Police services. Mims Latoya. Police radio dispatcher. Man, my fucking audience don't play. While I'm sitting here talking shit, these motherfuckers looking up that shit to make sure that shit was true. Y'all, hell. Man, oh man. You know what I'm saying? Man. But this is her. And this is how I'm thinking that these cops got over here to this damn place. Because if this girl was dispatching during the time of Young Dog Death, she sent him right on over there to guard her fucking people restaurant. Dirty motherfucker. Dirty ass fucking bleedy, man. You dirty motherfucker. Y'all got police all over here guarding this fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck y'all guarding this shit for? Y'all send them around there to guard black youngsters. Nah. Let's go see if they've been to uh, Black Youngster Granny House too. Let's see if they had, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, police, guards, Black Youngster Granny House. Let's see if they, let's see if they sent them to his granny house too. So we not confirm. That they sent him over there. All right. Debunked. Was Black Youngster's grandmama house shot at? Nope. Y'all don't go to shot rumors. I ain't see nothing. Let's go to the images. All right. Let's see if they had any police over there. All right. I don't think they had no. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't even think that they ever showed that part on the news. But they did show that. Uh, that they, you know, sent them over to Guardian's side, but they never said that they sent them over to Black Youngster's side. So that's the thing that I was just tripping about. On how, look at this big fat waterhead. My, I can't stand that motherfucker there, man. Don't like the motherfucker there, man. And y'all saw him the other day on the birthday, um, birthday bullshit, right? Yes, Lord. Oh, they talk a big shit. Yep. So there's no actual footage of them at Black Youngster People House. But guess what? We got Latoya Mims' ass right here. Latoya, bring your ass to the principal office right there. Latoya Mims. This is her name. And she's a dispatcher. She's a dispatcher with Memphis Police Department. And if Miss Latoya been over there jacking off with them fucking people shit, her ass could be in trouble. All right? She going to be in trouble. I'm going to show y'all something else, too, before we get up out of here. But we going to keep rocking up. But I'm going to show y'all some more shit tonight. All right. Oh, shit. What the hell is this? Lord Jesus Christ. I didn't even mean to show this shit, but I'm going to go ahead and show it anyway. Shit, fuck it. All right. Look at the cookie fucking monster. All right. Dr. Kia Moore. Dr. Kia Moore. Ooh, Lord, if this is some fuckery right here, I don't know what it is. Lord, Jesus Christ. Y'all come on, take a good look at this right here. Yes, sir. Ooh, they smile like a motherfucker. They got motherfucking cookie dust all over the motherfucker. What the fuck is going on here, all right? What's going on here, y'all? 
Lord, boy, when the feds come down on these people here, I just want to figure out what the fuck this connection is right here. But Lord, have mercy. Jesus Christ. This nigga cooking cookie with a pinky ring on, man. You a fly-ass nigga, school. Yes, sir. Look at school, man. School got motherfucking... What they did? Put a put, 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 uh, flower all over your ass and, and Nick, you took a picture? The hell going on right here? Lord Jesus. All right, I promise we wouldn't do this. We wouldn't tear, up, tear down no more black men in this world. So we're going we gonna to let him go ahead on with his strawberry cookie and shit. You know what I'm saying? We're going to let him go ahead on. But this this here's some bullshit right here, man. You know, we ain't, we ain't going to do that no more. We just gonna leave that shit alone. I just want y'all to see that shit right there. I know the FBI. I know the FBI see that too. I know they see that shit right there. Hell yeah, they see that shit. They said, man, this nigga got his own cookie, man. What the fuck going on around here? Yeah, this nigga got his own cookie. We need to do some shit about this here. Y'all know what the fuck going on? Y'all see that nigga, man? Y'all in the comment box laughing y'all ass off right now. I bet y'all is, man. I bet y'all is. Paperwork gang coming out right now, all right? Paperwork gang coming out right now. Let me see if I can get this to y'all, man. Gotta release y'all a lot of information tonight. All right, that's uh, Shondell Barnett warrant right there, y'all. The fake warrant. The fake-ass fucking warrant. Full of, fucking, full, full of bullshit warrant, all right? Uh, police under arrest. All right, that ain't it. Meet me at the, meet me at that store by Dolphin Airways. Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ. What store by Dolphin Airways? I don't even know what the fuck that is right there. But that's some bullshit right there. Meet me at the store by Dolphin Air, Airways. Any of y'all know who Derek Adams is? That's who y'all gonna find out about tomorrow. So make sure y'all tune in tomorrow so y'all can find out who Derek Adams is, all right? I'm going to show y'all Derek Adams was a key, 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 key part in this whole shit. All right? He was a key part in this whole shit. Derek Adams, I'm going to introduce you guys to Derek Adams. All right? Any, anyone of y'all from Memphis know who Derek Adams is? I bet you don't. And some of you might do. Some of you might do. All right? Some of you might know who Mr. Derek Adams is. But on that damn go show, let you know who he is. All right? And this is why Black Yossi was so upset right here. Y'all, y'all want to see, y'all want to know why Black Yossi was so upset? This is why, right here. This boy, I miss you so much, little brother. I swear to God, when you died, I thought about killing myself. You little bitch-ass nigga. All right, listen, look, look, look. Let me show y'all something, man. Let me show y'all something. Listen to this little motherfucking bitch right here, all right? Black youngster is mourning the death of his brother, TD, uh, brother Heavy Camp TD. Multiple sources confirm on Monday that up-and-coming rapper Heavy Camp TD was found dead in Miami over the weekend. Details surrounding his death are still sketchy, but reports suggest that he died from gunshot wounds. TD would be the second brother of Memphis rapper Black Youngster to be killed over the past couple years. In 2016, Youngster revealed on social media that his younger brother was killed. I miss you so much, little brother. I swear to God, when you died, I thought about killing myself. No lie. Sometimes I just wish God would have took me and not you, little brother. I wish he had cheek your punk ass, too. Yes, sir. Dolph with a stove in here fucking with you. All right? I wish he had cheek your ass, too. Don't fucking be out here crying and shit. Tell me you miss your motherfucking brother and all kind of bullshit, nigga. You ain't talking that shit when you been shooting that nigga and robbing nigga and sleeping with transvestites and shit. All right? Fuck, I miss you, Nooski. I miss you so much, little brother. I swear to God, when you die, I thought about killing myself. Boy, stop. Okay? Stop it right now, black youngster. We know you soft, Okay? 
But you ain't got to tell the goddamn world what's going on. This nigga here is a goddamn fruit cop, all right? He's a fruit cop, all right? And I wish to God I'd take your ass. Yes, sir. And Lord, please forgive me. But, uh, Lord, I wish you had to take him too. Shit. He the one said it. I just agree with him. You know what I'm saying? Lord, I ain't, you know, you ain't supposed to wish no death. So, Father, forgive me. But I'm going to tell you one thing. This nigga said it out of his own mouth. He said, I just wish God would have took me and not. Lord, you would have did all us a favor. Lord, Jesus, why you ain't take this motherfucker? Lord, God damn it, don't put a stove in here right now. You should have took his ass, Lord. Man, I'm sorry. I got to ask the question. They say you ain't supposed to question, but God, you got Oh, Lord, man. Yeah, this motherfucker. His should have been going. Yes, Lord, he should have been going. I'm disagreeing with him, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't wish no death for no man. But I'm just, can I go down for disagreeing with him? I, I'm agreeing with him. He said, I miss you so much, little brother. You know, I swear to God, when you died, I thought about just killing myself. Well, why the fuck didn't you? <laughs> Nigga! You shut up! What the fuck? You shut up! Kill yourself! Put one in your head, nigga! Bam, bam, bam! Nigga, I'll help you! Nigga, what the fuck? Nigga, all you gotta do is hold that motherfucker out and pull the trigger! Bam! Nigga, get your ass up out of here! Yes, sir! You know what I'm saying? This nigga here got the cry of a lifetime. Between him and Moneybag, yo, I don't know who the bitch is, okay? I don't know who that bitch is out these two niggas right here. I miss you, Nooski. I wish you be calling me. Next thing you know, they're going to be talking about, I miss you, Dollar Cheeseburger. I hope you be calling me. I miss you. I miss your voice. I just want to hear you. You little bitch ass niggas. Y'all niggas need y'all ass whoop. You know what I'm saying? Then whoop the ass. Y'all get in the comment box and whoop the ass right now like some damn churn. You know what I'm saying? I miss you so much. Oh, man, these niggas here make my motherfucking ass hurt, man. Man, these niggas here need their ass kicked, man. This nigga here's a cry, baby. Money bag of fucking cry, baby. These niggas some bitches, man. Stone cold bitches. Ain't no grown man sit up there and talk about, I wish, I miss you so much. Man, that nigga gone. Now you know I'm his fucking homeboy that had going, and I ain't never say I missed them nigga. I said, well, God take him, fuck him. Hey, more power to you. I'm, hey, move on. Nigga, hip up, hop, hooray. Nigga, he died. Oh, well. But I ain't about to sit on no fucking social media and cry a fucking river, okay? Cry me a river. No, shit, no. Cry me, cry me. Cry me, cry me. That's all the fuck these nigga had to do. Cry a fucking river. I miss you. Man, oh man, man, these niggas here make my fucking stomach hurt, man. I'm telling y'all, these niggas don't deserve this type of money, man. These niggas cry babies, man. Straight cry babies. Black youngster, report your ass to the principal office right now. Since you miss your little brother so much, you miss your little brother. I wish you. That nigga say, no lies sometime, I wish God would have took me. Boy, that's the first thing I ever fucking agree with you with. You know what? Boy, I agree with that statement there more. Nigga, we need to blow this motherfucking shit up right here. That black youngster come to the poor, uh, principal office. I believe that this is the best statement you ever said in your motherfucking life, okay? I believe that I believe that this is the best shit you ever said. Nigga, this better than any song you ever had, nigga. Right here. I miss you so much, little brother. I swear to God, when you died, I thought about killing myself. And I agree. You should have killed your fucking self, okay? No lies. Sometimes I just wish God would have took me. Me too, motherfucker. Oh, man, in the whole goddamn world. What's your ass at going to? Man, it's some bullshit right here. This nigga is a crybaby. We gonna whoop his ass, all right? We gonna whoop black youngster ass. Between him and that little fucking nigga, our booty lift boy, that boy with that booty lift and that chin lift, new ski. Wake up, new ski. Wake up, new ski. And the other one talking about cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. I wish you and I go to McDonald's. I miss you so much. Uh, they, the, the next somebody coming with that line right there next, okay? They done talk about Nooski, they done talk about goddamn TD, and they coming with goddamn Dollar Champ in a minute, or whatever the fuck his name is. Um, two for one, fucking what? What the fuck the boy name is from McDonald? What the fuck Happy Meal? What the nigga name is, y'all? God damn it! What the boy name is? Two for uh, fucking uh, Chicken McNugget. What his name is? Lord have mercy! Somebody tell me what this nigga name is. All right, Dollar Champ or Champ Dollar. 
Hamburglar, fuck it. His name Hamburglar. He got caught in the fucking McDonald's. Hamburglar got gunned down at McDonald's, all right? We go in with Cheese cheese Dollar. That's his name. Cheese Dollar Hamburglar, all right? God damn it. Y'all got me fucked up tonight, right? This nigga, these some crying ass niggas. Look at this nigga. Did he go talk about all that shit and got nervous to throw up a fucking gun sign after he done finished begging God to take his motherfucking life? Lord, you know I love you, Lord. I love you. Lord, I love you, but why you just here answer this one prayer? I just want to know. Man, God, please, why you ain't answer this here? Lord, did he was knocking, Lord. He wanted to come. Why you ain't let him in? Why you ain't let him in, Lord? I just want to know, man. This nigga here was knocking at the door, Lord. He was crying. He said he wanted to kill himself. He said he wanted to, he, man, Lord, where I been at when he been doing all this? All right, where I been at? Please, I would have helped him. You understand? Oh, Lord, I would have helped him. Lord, yes, Lord, that would have helped him. I would have took him to the dog pound, Lord. I would have took him to the dog pound. Then you say, we ain't put the question you got, but this is one prayer that you should answer, okay? Ugh. Lord should answer this shit here. Lord. Sometimes I got to wonder. I, I think God might have been sleeping when he said this. Ain't no way. I think God might have been taking a nap, all right? Lord been tired from the day before. Something happened. He ain't hear this shit, y'all. Because if God had hear this shit, y'all, God would answer him. So I think the Lord might have been a little tired that day, and he been sleeping when this nigga been crying, all right? Because I know if the Lord had hear you, nigga, he'd give you a wish. Yes, sir, he'd give you a wish, nigga. Yes, sir. So you know God probably laying down and probably he done been up all night watching our ass, and he damn said shit. I go get me a little shut eye right now and let these nigga run wild and this nigga with the crying. Lord, please help me, take me, Jesus. Lord, nigga, where was I? Oh, that would have helped you, nigga. I would have sure helped you. Yes, sir. Yeah, God was sleeping. He was sleeping. Yes, Lord. He had to be sleeping. There ain't no way. He let the demon here get way. That demon call out, Lord. He call out. So let's get him. Yes, Lord. He called out. Nigga say he miss him. Yeah. <laughs> man, oh man. If I would have been like R. Kelly. I wish, I wish, I wish. If I just had one wish. All right. I wouldn't have wished for a million dollars. Man, no. I wouldn't have wished for long life. Man, no. I wouldn't have wished for all the hoes in the world. Excuse me, y'all on YouTube. Well, but I wouldn't have wished for nothing. But the Lord that answered this one prayer right here. I'd have said, Lord, I give up right now. If God give me one wish, it'd be just to answer this shit right here. I'd say, Lord, knock on the door. Go get him. He want to go. He say, I miss you. Go get his ass right now. Send Gabriel. Send goddamn whoever you got to send down there to tell him. Put on your shoes. Let's go. All right? Put on your shoes. I give up anything to get this one wish right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This nigga was crying out. This nigga was on his Mario. I can hear crying. He was crying out for me. Yes, Lord. Come on in, come on in, come on in and save me. Yes, Lord. Come on in, come on in, come on in and save me. This nigga was on his Mario. Yes, Lord, he was on his Mario shit. This nigga, he heard the cries coming out, all right? He heard it. And I don't like it, all right? The nigga said, I can hear your heart calling out for me. Lord Jesus. Man, oh man, man, I had fun tonight with y'all, man. We had a lot of fun, a lot of stuff from going out tonight, man. And, you know, I just want to, I like to joke off these dudes, man, because they so clowny. You know what I'm saying? These dudes here belong in the circus. Ringling Brothers, yes, sir. Ringling, ringling, dingling, dingling, ringling circus, yes, sir. They need, they need some fucking straight clowns, all right? And, and I don't like them. And I just know they do a lot of fucking talking and they do a lot of crying and a lot of bitching and a lot of swearing and a lot of everything else. And we need to get rid of these niggas here. They need to go. You know what I'm saying? They fucking up for all the real niggas out here, man. They fucking up for the children and the family and everybody else. And I don't know what else to say. I, I just don't know what else to say, man. I just want to clean it up, y'all. Let's just clean it up. 
Time to clean the house now. God say, time to clean the house. Go ahead. Clean the house. All right? Let's clean up. Let's get rid of these dudes, man. And let's move on. All right. Now, I need to do one more thing before I release to y'all about who was at the hospital that got dropped off two days later for the young Dolph kids. And uh, I know, but I don't want to put it out there yet because I, I, I'm i waiting. Actually, I'm not. I got the paperwork, but I need permission from the family. So I should have the permission in the morning for them to let me release the name to y'all because I tried to get in touch with her today and she ain't answer the phone. So I'm trying to get permission because if I release this name to y'all without the permission of the family, you know what I'm saying? That shit, I can get in trouble for that shit, man. Because some shit is in the mix with that. And all I can tell y'all is it's some crazy shit. And I want to tell you so bad. But I need permission. So y'all just give me one more D. Tomorrow I'll be back on another live for y'all. And I'm going to be letting y'all know who the police officer was. Um, also, who we thinking that that police officer that got shot, we thinking that he's connected to somebody that owned that white Mercedes Benz. And we, we working on that. And we'll let y'all know about that also. But I do need permission before I do this because the news didn't even release it. And it's on, it, the news didn't release it. We can release anything that the news released and we can release public information, but that shit was not public information and the news did not release that shit. So I have to get permission or I might end up losing everything behind that shit if I fuck around and say that shit. So I need to just chill out and then I'll let y'all know tomorrow what's going on. But y'all check it out, man. Y'all y'all pump this fly right now, man. We gonna listen to the fly because I gotta listen to the fly, man. And I'm gonna tell y'all, man, Y'all do a silent prayer, man, for Master P, man, and Master P daughter. You know, uh, you know, man, you know, uh, my condolences go out to, you know, Percy Miller and the family, man. You know, uh, mental, mental illness and drug abuse is real, dog. So, you know, everybody, uh, shout out, man. You know what I'm saying? To everybody out there that, you know, showing the condolences to uh, Master P and his family, man. Y'all, you know, much respect to all y'all that's showing his family love. Give his family respect. Be respectful. He lost a child. And many of you out there that probably don't know how I feel to lose a child. It ain't a good feeling. So y'all stand back and give them their space. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's real. But we're going to definitely, 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 definitely. Come back and get at y'all, man. But this is Old Nan TV, man. And we're going to listen to one little song, man. And we're going to sign out. And I'll see y'all tomorrow again. And we could do this shit all over again, man. We could do this shit all over again. I don't give a fuck. <laughs>